Welcome to the stream, guys. Let me know whenever you can see me. Um, of course, before we have the stream, we have um, live footage of uh, Haru and Sasuke's wedding in Mexico. They decided to uh, decided to wear some drip for the wedding, you know, go against normal standards. But I'm just, I'm so happy for them. I'm so happy that their deaths and their execution were all fabricated, fake. I'm, I'm very glad for that. Also, I think it was somebody in the comment section, the last video who mentioned to do this. So shout out to them. <laughs> but yeah, we got the Haru Satsuki drip for, uh, for the loading screen now for a little bit. Also, um, remember last time you guys were saying the membership link didn't work? I think it should work now. I think I adjusted it to where it should work, but let me know. Um, I think the link was just being stupid. <laughs> oh, good. I think everybody likes the... Uh... <laughs> Everybody likes the, the, the new meme. Uh, yes, we stand. We stand a couple that is not dead. <laughs> a couple that is alive and well in Mexico. We love them. We love it. We stand. And I'm just, I'm just so happy for them. I'm so happy that they're not dead. Also, happy Easter, everybody. To everybody who's celebrating as well i uh i always kind of forget sometimes that like i don't know it seems like there's a lot of holidays on sundays for whatever reason because um <laughs> i remember like last year when i was streaming your turn to die i feel like there was a bunch of holidays anyways um i wanted to give a shout out to uh so we have a subreddit now and i just kind of wanted to mention this if you guys are interested in it because um i don't know i thought it'd be kind of fun to have a place to like post memes for the streams and the videos and like um and just like discussion for it too. I'll probably have like, oh, I love this fan art too that somebody posted. <laughs> Some Kenji. It was posted by, I like, oh, owls, owls. I know it's like owls, but a little bit different. But anyways, I love the, the bimbo Netflix. Uh, the, the Netflix, the bimbo necklace. I can't speak today. Uh, oh, thank you, Akira Kurusu. I can't with that backdrop. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I know it's beautiful, but uh, yeah, so if you guys want to join the subreddit, feel free to do that. Like I said, I'll have like a discussion thing or like a discussion like thread or something after after the stream so you guys can like talk about it and stuff because I just like want there to be a place where we can like discuss and like hang out after the stream. I know you guys get to talk in the stream chat, but I figured it'd be fun to talk more. Uh, <laughs> we have a new subreddit, aka the DRA subreddit. Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. <laughs> You know, but we stand. It's okay. <laughs> that was essentially kind of what I was going for. But, you know, <laughs> it'd be like that. Oh, gosh. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and start. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited and nervous. We also have a new build today. Okay, yeah. It's different music, too. Nice. Dee, 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 dee. Do, 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 do. Technically, Jeffrey Kenji called himself a bimbo with um with his necklace. So I was just repeating, you know, what he said about himself. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, thanks, guys. Uh, will you watch the chapter three secret event? Oh crap! I do need to do that. Remind me to do that. I keep like remembering during the week whenever I'm not streaming. But uh, yeah, okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is a new build. Um, I have like the hot fixes for it and stuff too. Hopefully everything works okay. But um, I know Zephyrum was telling me to like message them if I have any issues. So hopefully we won't. But uh, remind me to buy my new like uh, my Monica, my Monocoin stuff too <laughs> before. Oh, it's a bit quiet. Okay, let me see. There you go. Oh man, this freaking remix is awesome though. De 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 the music is fire. Stan. <laughs> and yeah, it was FU translated this one as well. I am a little sad though, because I finally didn't die in a trial. And like, uh, <laughs> I was so excited to get my mono coins, but then I was like, dang it, I gotta switch builds now. <laughs> <laughs> the one time I don't die is the time that I, uh, <laughs> is that I have to, I have to switch to a new build. But yeah, I don't really, I don't know, I'm interested to see what this new guy is like. I feel like he's gonna be like a little shit character for sure. Bypass at chapter five. Let's go! 
<laughs> I feel like he's gonna be like a shitty kind of character. I feel like, honestly, it's like Monokuma's way of being like, Weeby, your other psycho husband's like, you know, he's kind of collapsed right now. So now here's a new psycho husband. Yay! Start already, girl. New boyfriend is waiting. Yeah, like, since your old boyfriend's about to die, we got a new boyfriend for you. Basically. <laughs> Basically. I hope Mitch comes back this chapter. No spoilers. Ugh, he does come back this chapter, though. That's so true. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Because Rocky Coon is also a freshman at Homespeak Academy, the same as you, but due to some circumstances, he joined late, so just let it go. Yeah, wasn't he, like, in a prison like downstairs like <laughs> had to trap him in order to make sure he doesn't go on a murder rampage you guys would all be dead if i let him go earlier holy shit <laughs> thankfully i got him on some like meds or something though to calm him down y yamato ni it seems like yeah they're like siblings or something i don't know uh, uh, wait mitsuhiro donald's no <laughs> more mitch stands in the chat mcdonald's theme mitch stands <laughs> oh god y yamato Makako-chan, do you know him? Hey, uh, Makako-chan, why did you turn so blue? Who are you? Makaru? I'm asking who he is. The guy called himself a transfer student. No more questions! Kinda looks like a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Silence. The transfer student that no one expected. A new character appeared in this place that started with only 15 people, including myself. Oh my god, it's perfect timing. Kinjo's just dumped Yuki and now he has a new boyfriend. And he's probably crazy too. We love it. Oh, Mitch Donald, no. <laughs> that alone was enough to confuse our heads. Oh, thank you, Cherry Bun 0325 for uh, becoming an Omelander. Hope you enjoy the uh, emotes and the uh, Discord. A character named Yamato Kizaragi looking at us with a quiet smile. Makaru had a fierce stare at him and was waiting to open his mouth. And finally, when it did... Uh... Oh, what the... <laughs> what? <laughs> Mario, my... <laughs> She's about to give the Kazuna voice. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Mario, 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 Mario to your heart. Everyone's idol is... It's Yamato Kizaragi. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> Um, uh, here I thought he was about to be like, you're all dead. I'm gonna fucking murder you in your sleep. Um, um ultimate, ultimate idol. Ultimate K-pop star. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> was that okay? Not too ordinary. It seems like I was a little b bit bored there. <laughs> the, I don't know why voice to give this guy so far. He's sending out too many mixed vibes. <laughs> oh, thank you, Akira. Um, so I have a theory since Yamato is the ultimate inventor and Kuroka, Kurokawa keeps making robot- Oh, robot noises and calling him Nissan. Robot theory confirmed. Oh, I kind of forgot him being confirmed to be the ultimate inventor. Interesting. That does make sense though. Because I was like, they don't look alike at all, honestly. I was like, are they really related? But we'll, we'll see. That's an interesting theory though. I like it. Uh, what? What are you saying? Are you crazy? This is a joke. Thanks to you, I just made an embarrassing face. Good lord, I'll throw up. Oh my god, why is he so cute? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Makaru bestie. Huh? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry, god. Don't let me die. Um, I have sinned, but just forgive me from dying. We don't have Kenji here, here anymore, so I can't really help you out too much. The first words that came out of Kizaragi's mouth were a hilarious joke that only seemed awkward by anyone. But soon we realized that his condition was somewhat weird. Kind of like, had like mixed, like separate personality. He's definitely like traumatized or something. <laughs> I don't know what like the medical term for it would be. Oh, hey you, I've already bullied you for how long? I told you to get along with him. Oh God, he's self-destructing again. Damn it. Kizaragi-kun is a kid with a soft heart, even though he seems like that. Well, excluding that, Kizaragi-kun, there's a little bit of an abnormality on his brain it should be said that their mind is a little bit off the shelf they're fucking psycho weeby's gonna love him it's not normal to be like that after all i have called mato yo yo are you worried about me i don't see anything bad here this dude oh my gosh 
Uh, there's something wrong with his brain. Should, should we tie him up like we did with uh, Kinger last chapter? That doesn't matter. I don't care if this kid is a genius or a lunatic. Now the important thing is the existence of this being. We know there has been 15 freshmen at Hope Speak Academy this year. Yeah, but who the hell is this guy? We haven't heard anything like the ultimate inventor. And it's not just that. It's a transfer student who suddenly appeared in the environment. I'm calling Mastermind of this very Hope's Peak Academy, which it was blocked and sealed off from the outside. While Makaru, meanwhile, Makaru is speaking her complaints about, oh, thank you, Lu and Nanami, for becoming an Omelander. Wait, isn't that, isn't that you, Maki? <laughs> isn't that your other account? <laughs> but thank you, welcome for uh, joining with that account. Oh, that means we get new emotes too, yay, because we just need two more people for more emotes. Hell yeah. Meanwhile, Makaru is speaking her complaints about how things were too rapid to get to understand Makari's words, but were cut off by her. Um. Yeah, ma, to, ni. What is going on? I think, oh uh, yeah, I'm thinking of going with that theory that Akira mentioned. How he like built her or something? I don't know what's wrong with his brain though. He's kind of he's kind of wild in. I haven't heard a ton of Mitch jokes so far. Mitch jokes must be dead, kind of like Mitch. Ah, oh, don't worry, Mitch is still hiding in the school. He's still alive somewhere, <laughs> somewhere around here. <laughs> but uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, the Mitch stands. You know, they were kind of quiet last chapter. Maybe maybe they're finally uh finally dying out, just like our boy Mitch. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, I appreciate it. Yamato ni. Uh, Kurakawa? Oh, oh, ah? That reaction, you know him too. What's the difference here? Makako Kurokawa. Kurokawa? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's having a breakdown again. Uh, oh, shit! Oh, no! What? Oh, she's bleeding out her ears and her eyes? I do think she's a robot, though. Did she just die? It was in a single moment. Kurokawa's tears began to blend into bright blood. It began to ooze out of her eyes, nose, and ears like a fountain. Surely, she's fucking dead. I can't tell what's going on here. I'm a Kako-chan. Oh, Kurokawa. Holy shit. Ah, she's fine. She does that all the time. Oh, this is more than I expected. What do you mean? It's as if you knew that if you showed Yamato Kizaragi in front of us, Makako Kurokawa would pass out. I don't know, girl. She was bleeding out of her eyes. Like, that seems a little intense. I, maybe she's like, she was a human, but you know she has like robot parts added to her or something like that. Well, now, don't, don't you all want to know? What do I do? What can I do? The blood, the blood doesn't stop. I was like, how do you even stop that when it's coming out of your ears? Monokuma, what are you doing? Your role should be to cure a student when they're injured in an accident, like you did with Kenjo. Yeah, but I mean, Kenjo's my husband, though. I mean, Makako, that's whatever. Why should I? What? This isn't exactly an unfortunate accident. She'd rather just die like this. It's like, whoops, she's done too many emotional expressions. Ah, oh, the system's overloaded. How are you supposed to take care of that in the first place, huh? Well, I don't know. I'll leave it to you. What, what the heck? D dick? Well, either way, kizaragi kun come this way. <laughs> yes, teacher. Uh, here it's kizaragi kuns e-handbook. Be careful not to lose it, my son. Oh, wow, thank you. I'll do it. I'll cherish this. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Got a new student. Makako is dead, we think. Oh my gosh. I have explained to you roughly everything about living in here, remember? Then try to get along with your friends. <laughs> okay. You guys get along with Kizaragi kun. Kizaragi kun's information has been added to your e handbook, so if you're curious, you can look at it. Yeah, I'll have to look at that later. Uh, Monokuma, wait a. <laughs> I think you, Kira. She's a cyber cyborg theory confirmed. Yeah, I was like, I feel like she probably is like a cyborg or something like that with the blood coming out. You know, she's got to be like part part human. I feel like. Damn it, my friend is bleeding and she's collapsed in front of my eyes. Even with that pretense of wanting someone to die, this Monokuma, I can never forgive someone like that. <laughs> Bunny Mitch, no, no, no. 
<laughs> We're canceling Easter. <laughs> no, not the bunny, Mitch. Someone mentioned Mitch. Anyways, happy Easter. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so freaking much. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I was like, was that Dara? I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Dara. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so cursed. What should we do? What should I do? I just had to look at Bunny and Mitch. I'm gonna claw my eyes out, Weeby. Why would you do this? Oh, thank you, Joseph. Makako Kurakawa, possibly a nicer, more tolerable Midori. Oh god, don't even compare her to Midori. Uh, that would be that would be definitely interesting, though. Yeah, I could see that. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh man, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, Makaku, please wake up! Even if you ask me. You guys, stop blinking. Hurry up and support the other side. Uh, Makaru? You, the transfer student. I'm so full of things that I want to say, but right now, first thing is to save Makako Kurokawa. Because I have to hear a lot from this woman, it'll be difficult if she dies now. <laughs> Always trying to act so tough. I don't care about her or anything, Baka. I just care about the information or something. Yeah, let's move to the infirmary soon. It's on the first floor, so the location is close. What is this home dude doing? <laughs> he is so wild, dude. I don't know what's gonna happen with him. He's such a wild card, like, bruh. <laughs> I guess we'll just see what happens. I feel like he might not murder somebody, but he's gonna cause a murder, you know what I mean? Because I feel like it'd be too obvious if he was the killer. I can see him getting killed, though, too. We decided to pick up the unconscious Kur- Why is he staring at me like that, dude? I feel like he's, like, staring into my soul. We decided to pick up the unconscious Kurokawa and take her to the infirmary. The new hot guy was just staring at me blankly, dead on the inside, for, like, five minutes straight. In the meantime, the re revelation of Kizaragi, the transfer student, who doesn't even blink, even though a person is bleeding and collapsed, seemed like a creepy person. Even though he was a little cutie. I'll go get his number later. Actually, I'll get his number now. You understand, Makako. <laughs> you get it. I mean, I just gotta have a relationship with Kenjo. I'm kind of sad, so, like, I need a new boy toy. Come on now. Hope never falls to despair. Despair eclipse. Despair, despair, hope, hope. We're getting to the end game. Gonna start saying those words over and over. Oh no, Kizaragi's not gonna come in here and just stare at us like. <laughs> it's just like all he does, it feels like. After taking Kurokawa, we lost consciousness over massive bleeding. We went to the infirmary together for the first aid. Then we brought her to her private room, and then we immediately gathered at Makaru's room. A sudden transfer student in Kurokawa losing consciousness. Less than a day has passed since we decided to continue Satsuki's, <laughs> Satsuki. Satsuki's will to defeat the mastermind. We were so confused by the rapid change of situation. Oh god, I'm still so freaking sad about Satsuki and Haru. I was like so depressed making that edit for the intro, like the intro meme. I was just like, no, no, we need, they're in Mexico. See, see, you have them, you're photoshopping them in Mexico. They're still alive. Just go back to denial. Oh gosh, I need, I need a second to go back to denial. They're alive, they're alive, they're alive. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm better now. Makako-chan, I'm sure she'll be okay. Even Kurokawa was knocked down, and Kenjo isn't showing any reaction. The four of us are the only ones in this wide school. It feels too unreal. Five. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're not in this room, but there's a guy running around outside, uh, like a freaking psycho idol person. Uh, Kizaragi, you mean? Uh, oopsie, no, Kaya, he fell. There we go. Who is he? That person mate named Yamato Kizaragi. I don't think we even um, really, um, what's the word? Explain to the others like what me and Kenjo found, you know what I mean? I'm a cute Kyokamaki for becoming an Omalander. Welcome to the Omaland. <laughs> Look, I thought you already were a member. Eh, doesn't matter. Thanks for joining. The e-handbook really was updated. Well, I'll have to add a, a, Maki, a Maki emote now, now that I think about it. Well, if you think about it simply, they would be the mastermind. Uh, ah, the mastermind? But that's too obvious. But didn't Makaru think that Kurokawa was the mastermind? I didn't know things were going to turn out like this. There's been a lot of plot twists in the last few minutes. Come on now. But that doesn't mean Makako Kurokawa is also free from guilt. You saw it too, right? As soon as she saw that transfer student, she became anxious and shed tears. That's true. As soon as she saw him, she mentioned Yamato-ni. 
the most primary candidate is Yamato Kizaragi. At the same time, I can't stop being suspicious of Makako Kurokawa, because we can't reach the conclusion that there's only one mastermind. Oh, what? You mean it can't be only one mastermind? If only you've been seeing the dreams of it having Ray. I feel like I'm still kind of like... Mostly suspecting Yuki as being the mastermind still, personally. Rather, don't you think that the possibility of the mastermind's revenge was because of the character named Yamato Kizaragi appeared? That means... Are you saying the mastermind that is mixed in our group and the one behind is hiding that controls everything? Right, Maida is useful indeed, and also probably the mastermind. Think about it, there's no creature called Monokuma in this planet. That means someone is controlling it. I almost feel like Yuki is like too obvious to be a mastermind though too, but we'll see. I don't know, we'll keep thinking. Wouldn't that explain that Makako Kurokawa, he's just my best guess so far, who was with us wasn't the one controlling it. Cause yeah, he had those creepy dreams, and I feel like I feel like Yuki's kind of got like a dark side to him too, you know, compared to most other protagonists. Like, I don't know, you've never really seen like a protagonist start really contemplating like murder <laughs> before, <laughs> but I feel like Yuki was doing that last chapter. Yeah, but didn't Kizaragi and Monokuma move all the same in the gym a little while ago? I'm not sure about that yet, but maybe they did something without our knowledge. It may have been a reserved operation, or because of the distance, we did not see it. Even so, it means that he's not a trustworthy person. What is certain is that he's been on the sidelines since we got involved in this incident. Yeah, if they don't have anything to do with the mastermind, they can't come from outside the school either. Yep, he was locked in the basement. Still, wouldn't it be better to talk directly with Kizaragi-kun than to be suspicious? We don't know what kind of person he is yet. Makako-chan is the same. When she wakes up, let's talk calmly. I hate being suspicious like this. I don't suppose you guys think that person named Kizaragi Yamato is just a mysterious figure that popped up suddenly, do you? You guys aren't that stupid, right? Ah, uh, what are you talking about? Huh? Wait! Do you have any information about Kizaragi-kun Rei-chan? Did she find the information too, maybe? I can't really remember. I feel like I didn't really share the information that I found with uh, Kenjo, right? Maida, please, for the love of God, help me. I don't think I can handle these fools by myself. God, they're so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Akane, Teruya, you saw it when we reported about the third floor, right? The Hope Speak Academy graduation album. Graduation album? Because I remember having to, like, decide if I wanted to lie or tell the truth there. I can't remember if I really told them anything or not, though. Kizaragi Hanzo. What's the name of the owner of the graduation album? It's too perfect to be a co coincidence, isn't it? I think this guy was like frozen on ice or something, right? Because I think like the thing in the science lab and the thing in the office were both like... I think it was like we just saw the picture of him in the office and then the yearbook in the science lab. That might explain why he's so screwed up too. Because he's been like frozen. So his brain's malfunctioning, you know, when you're like... 30 years older than you're supposed to be and you're frozen in ice it kind of screws you up or something I don't know ah somehow when I heard the name Kizaragi I recall where it was that album I remember now I'm more curious as to how you can forget about such an important information I should have rewatched those scenes though before I uh <laughs> before I started this though I was thinking about doing that and not only that you guys did see the mark in the ballroom's arsenal mark oh Ah, now I remember. Is that the same thing that's on his hat? Maybe. You mean that mark with the two moons overlapped in blue? Yes, might have already heard it before, but that mark is the crest of the Kizaragi Foundation. It's not a widely known company to the general public, but it's a giant company in the shadows with a broad reach of high-tech science sector. Okay. Kizaragi Foundation. Kizaragi. He do be looking very sus. Ah, I remember! When I was younger, my dad signed to sell robot vacuum cleaners. The source was from the Kizaragi Foundation. Yeah, there's that way that people may know. Although it is a company with a lot of secrets, they're pretty sussy. As to whether it was controlling the mass media or not, it is unknown. Hmm. Then Kizaragi-kun is from that big corporation family? If that's the case, it wouldn't be surprising. Since the graduation album of Hanzo Kizaragi was discovered and the arsenal has a mark of the foundation. Okay. 
But just, but just looking at this, doesn't it seem that there is some kind of relationship between the Mastermind and the Kizaragi Foundation, which we are facing right now? That definitely makes sense as to like how the money was placed, you know, for like uh, creating this killing game or something like that. Oh, hey, we have Yamato on the chat. <laughs> Welcome, Yamato. I'm sure we'll have the uh, the Kizaragi cult soon. That's right, and it turns out there was one more thing. Oh, that's right, and it turns out there was one more thing, Makario. There's a clue related to the Kizaragi Foundation. Is it really? Which one? At that time, I couldn't say anything, but I found a picture of a person who looks like Yamato Kizaragi in the school's office while investigating the fourth floor. Ah, uh, look at him, so handsome. Yeah, that photo I found with Kenjo. As I had room to organize the situation, I began to think of it, the person in the picture that resembled Hanzo Kizaragi in the graduation album was Yamato Kizaragi. Okay, so, okay, so the first one, no, so it probably is, is my frozen ice theory not, uh, not relevant anymore? I couldn't remember, I should rewatch these scenes. So it seems like Hanzo was the person who owned the graduation album and this is Yamato. So maybe he is like a son or something like that, whom I met a while ago. Okay, so maybe my frozen and ice thing was not, uh, <laughs> not quite accurate. Unfortunately, Kenjo has that picture right now. That's what Maida kun had been talking about with Kenjo kun in the school's office for a long time? <laughs> the one you lied to us about? Yeah, I still remember that, Yuki. Why didn't you tell us right then? That's, I think I was, you know, a little psycho back then. I was kind of malfunctioning, you know. My first boyfriend died, my second boyfriend dumped me. I was going through a hard time, man. Well, things were happening, and Kenjo himself told me to stay quiet and spoke some nonsense. Some nonsense? You've come to reveal it now. But Kenjo was also suspicious of Kurokawa. Kenjo hasn't seen Kizaragi yet, so I wonder if he'll keep thinking that way. I hope Kenjo wakes up. I feel like he's just totally malfunctioned, though. I guess we'll see. Ha, well, he's that kind of guy. But right now, he's become a useless partner. Then there are three clues related to Kizaragi and this large academy. Yes, now do you guys know the reason why I'm suspicious of Kizaragi Yamato? Makako Kurokawa, who overreacts to Kizaragi, was suspicious for the same reason. You guys finally freaking get it now, right? But I wish we could talk to him. You're tenacious. We'll do whatever you want. As I see it now, he's a guy with a broken head, so there's a high probability that there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if he's really gonna... Um be able to say much. That is true, dude. Everybody's malfunctioning now. We got Kenjo, Kizaragi. I think that might just be his normal state, though. We got Makako, like, three or, like, <laughs> I don't know, like, not, not working properly right now. So there's a high probability that there's nothing to talk about. Uh, what? Uh, did you freaking see that guy? Makari, where are you going? There's still a lot to organize with you guys. I have to move. It's about time that guy notices us. Oh. <laughs> wow, what are you guys all doing here? A party? And I wasn't even invited? You didn't even invite my son to Kizaragi. Monokuma. What, I don't want to see your face. Can you leave now? No, but I was looking for you one by one because I couldn't see you anywhere. I looked around the school. Wait, but what's this? There is obviously nobody in this room in the surveillance camera, right? Uh, ugh. Now that you do that again? Uh, no way, you guys. You haven't done anything to the surveillance cameras, have you? About to shoot you down. Huh? What is he saying now? It must have broken down. Are you trying to cover up your self-management mistakes with us? You really are a rotten piece of trash. <laughs> Breaking my heart with this sudden profanity. How could you? Well, anyways, Miss Makaru makes sense. The facilities are old, so it's whatever. The facilities are old. What does that mean? The facilities of Hope Speak Academy shouldn't be that old, right? Yeah, definitely what Makari said in that other chapter does seem correct. That uh, a lot of time has passed since we entered this academy. We were definitely frozen, right? For sure. It's like, I'm trying to think of like, what implications this could all have, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll keep thinking about it. Ah, oh, that's what it was. That was, oh yeah, the switch room and the power room was also a little bad because of the lights out, right? I guess that's what I mean. Oh, Ray created a jammer to mess with the camera. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it was. York, I don't know, I don't freaking know. I got worked up about the camera and I came here because I have something to tell you. 
Well, I think you already know if you don't say it, if I don't say it, but the fifth floor of the school area is now open. So it's okay to research as much as you want. Yay. So what do you do what you like? The fourth floor was mostly locked classrooms anyways. Oh, thank you, Monica. It's Monica's fault. <clears throat> Everyone's falling apart. Ah, Mo mastermind Monica, of course. <laughs> I know you're secretly a Monica stan, though, Monica. You can't, you can't fool me. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> that, that for the fourth floor. If you compare it to the human body, it's a bit sensitive, shall I say? It's the shameful part of it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! Don't make strange comments. <laughs> what the hell is that? Miss Tyra, your face is blushing. Well, rest assured, the fifth floor is wide open. But, unlike so far, you'll need a little more, need to be a little more prepared. The fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I knew you would have. I knew you'd get defensive in the, in the chat, Modki. I just like messing with you. <laughs> oh, man. And like so far, it'll just take you time to love Monica, but someday, someday you will, you know? Monica loves you so much. Why, why can't you just love her back, you know? <laughs> but unlike so far, you'll need to be a little more prepared. It is also the top floor. You guys seem to knock down, so I thought it would be best for the last minute atmosphere. Uh, what? Are you prepared to reach the truth? And go ahead! Yay, plot revelations. Think of this as a service for seeing you guys so motivated. Oh, I'll have to go and see the status of the camera. Bye! Gonna figure out that Ray fucked with it. Then murder her ass. What? We'll need to be prepared. He's probably just scaring us for nothing. I was like, Mono Beast? Oh no, is Ball Monokuma gonna be on the fifth floor? Oh god, he's so scary. Anyways, did you see it? I was alone and I don't have, didn't have much doubts because there were far more people back then. If four or five people suddenly disappear while the number of people is reduced as they are now, the likelihood of being caught will increase each time. We can't talk for a long time in my room because there is one or two limits that can lift this slide on a basis like I just did. Yeah. So what should we do? If it wasn't for the jamming into Mar Makara's room, it would all go into the ears of the mastermind. For now, let's talk briefly, only when there is something we really need to say. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of screwed on the private meetings. I guess we could, like, jam each, like, cameras or something? Like, um, I don't know, like, jam it in my room next and another room next? I don't know, I guess we'll just see. <laughs> I'll call you when we need it, so you guys act like you normally do. As usual, just act like idiots, like always. You're talking about eating in the morning together and not leaving our rooms at night, etc.? Oh, right, you were doing that too. What does it matter? Let's just act together. Ah, besties, huh? Instead, I won't lock the door to my room and keep it open, so make sure you come in and out of my room from time to time. Okay. Oh, no. I feel like that's a little bit of a death flag, though. I can totally, totally see, like, I don't know, a murder happening in her room, at least, since her room's gonna be unlocked. Maybe lock your room. Maybe lock your room, bestie. And out of my room from time to time. Suspicion will decrease the less time we gather. <sighs> I hope she doesn't die. Surely not. Surely not. But I also didn't think Haru would die, so who knows. Ah? Uh, what was that? What's with the stupid reaction? Do you hate it? No, no, it's not like that. But it's up first. For someone like Makaru to suggest that. It'd be so sad, too, if like once she starts like trusting us is when she dies. That would suck. I knew, I knew Rei-chan is a good girl, even though she seemed to not care about us before. She really helped us a lot. Stop annoying me. I told you not to be mistaken, because you and I aren't friends. This is just cooperation. Don't try and cross the line with useless remarks. Ah, uh, you love us. Don't, don't lie. Ah, uh, cooperation means you can be a friend. Don't be so cold, Rei-chan. Oh, why are you calling me Rei-chan all of a sudden? Shut it, I'll get rid of the jamming soon, so... Come out and go to the fifth floor to investigate. Aw. Uh. <laughs> I like your little teddy bear, too. I'm gonna say goodbye to Teddy before I leave, okay? Uh, Makaru? Uh, she's such a sendere. Rei-chan, did I make you upset? She's just shy, right? Yeah. I mean, even if she says those things, saying that she will always keep her door open means that she trusts us that much. I'm so worried, though. I'm so worried, though. I don't want Rei to die. That would suck. 
Yeah, we're all ready to join forces and smack the mastermind right now. Let's follow Makara to the fifth floor and begin our investigation. Okay. We're still riddled with mysteries, and there's a long way to go. I could feel that our hearts were united in this despair. Kinjo, Kurokawa, why are they all... Why do they all have names that start with K's? All <laughs> the people who are, like, uh, breaking down right now. Kenjo, Kurokawa, Kizaragi, Yamato. The confusion was still the same. Aw, oh, man, I want to do Kizaragi's free time events. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> I don't even know if I could hang out with him, though, if, the, if it was translated. The confusion was still the same, but we were filled with hope more than ever. Hope. I decided to go with everyone to investigate the fifth floor. Yamato Kizaragi's record has been updated in the electronic student handbook. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Okay, let's save first. Oh, it looks so nice. The new, uh, the new menu and all that. Is it in special, maybe? Nope. <laughs> Objects, no. Equipment? Uh, where is it? I always get confused on where, uh... Oh, you can't hit or translate it? Really? Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna hang out with him, yes. <laughs> I'm totally gonna hang out with him. Is it, it's not equipment, right? I already checked that, right? My shield. No. Eh, whatever. Dee -dee. Okay, can I talk to her teddy bear? It's a teddy bear next to the door. It looks like Makaru had the jamming switch hidden inside this teddy bear. Okay. Huh, there's something here. Oh, hell yeah! Monokuma medal. Nice. Okay, cool. It looks like everyone went to the fifth floor. I have to go investigate as well. Oh, he's just moving on his own. Oh, there he is, my new boyfriend! Ah. <laughs> What's up, dude? This guy is so strange. The person standing on the way to the school entrance was Yamato Kizaragi, the mysterious figure who appeared a while ago. Uh, <laughs> he just looks so brain dead. Oh, he hello there. You were Kizaragi. Nice to meet you. You haven't said anything since we met, since we've met here. I'm Yuki Maida. I kind of imagine Yuki being like, hello, it is I, Yuki, <laughs> like talking really slow. He's just like, uh, uh, what? Are, are you there, Kizaragi? Uh, oh, uh, woo, uh, what the <laughs> Did you forget? Oh, uh, who forgot how to talk? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Thank you, Average Gamer69. Happy Easter, Weeby. Also, YouTube thumbnail spoiled chapter 5 for me, so that sucks. No, that sucks. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll have to. Dang it. I'll have to get that extension. There's like a YouTube extension where you can like uh, block out certain videos with like certain tags. I'm gonna have to do that again. Bam, but uh, I'm so sorry you got spoiled. I'll definitely be careful. Everybody else be careful too. But uh, thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. And uh, let's get back to Kizaragi. Awooga! Uh, it kind of does seem like he's doing a wooga. <laughs> oh, are you saying that to me, Kizaragi? Are you flirting with me already? No, what if Kenjo walks in? Are you angry? I didn't mean to. Blech. <laughs> what is up with this guy? Okay, bye. Good talk. Does he even have a room? What the fuck? Tyra's statement about having a conversation certainly made sense, but I couldn't establish a proper communication, which is likely to be due to his brain state. No, he seemed to be angry with me than anything else. At least when I saw him at the gym, he was easy, but I think he can speak. Why do you just stare at me and stutter? I don't know. Let's think about Kizaragi's issue later and start with the investigation on the fifth floor because it's a new place. We might be able to find something. Does he have a room? Oh no, Haru, I miss you so much. <laughs> I fucking miss you, dude. Uh, oh, God, I fucking miss you. I miss you too, Kenji. <laughs> Where is, maybe he got Mitch's room. I was like, does he have a room? I was like, I don't think he has a room. Okay, I guess we'll go. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, ooga. <laughs> Good talk, bro. Good talk. Um, I probably need to, uh, wait, is this the antique shop? Yep, I need to get some more monocoin stuff. Hopefully, doo -doo -doo. I want to get, uh, Kazunas for sure, right? Automatic, yes, yes, <laughs> I definitely need that one. I can't remember which other one I had. I think it might have been Maki's, maybe? Oh, Precise Aim, yeah, that was the one that I had before. 
Um, let me see. How many how many coins do I have? Do I have enough coins for all of these? I can't tell. Uh, let's see. Tamori, Ayame, Kakaru, Kenji. What was Kenji's counter argument? Requires only one slash to remove the opponent's remark. Oh, that's nice. Maybe I'll do that one then. I don't know how many coins I have though. <laughs> uh, I kind of just want to buy it because it's my best boy or one of my best boys, who's never done anything wrong in his entire life. Just want to clarify that. <laughs> Haru and Satsuki. Okay, vertical landing. Significantly reduce the letter movement speed and flash anagram. Man, I don't really think I need that. I get the cheat codes for that one, so you know, it's whatever. Satsuki. Joker trick. Earn two medals each time you fire a bullet in a non-stop debate. Oh, really? Wow. Two, like, Monokuma medals? Huh, interesting. Take Mitch's memento. <laughs> oh, you have, like, 500? Oh, hell yeah! Okay, let's get Maki's then. Buy it! Yeah! Okay. Um, I'll get Kenji's too. That one seemed pretty awesome. I can't remember what Mitch's was either. I'm gonna look at it and see what he's trying to get me. Counter, blah, blah, blah. Buy it. Hell yeah! Um, let me see. Okay, I got 326 still. Okay, what do you got for me, Mitch? Cardio, pulley, <laughs> contusion on the octopus strength. Two times increase in speech recovery per phase. Speech recovery? Is that like the stars? I was like, that seems pretty decent. But it's Mitch, disgusting. Freaking disgusting. Um, increase the movement speed of daily life. Oh, really? Oh, you can like walk faster? That's kind of cool, right? 100 medals, Jesus. Okay, uh... What's Kakaru's? Uh, permanently increases HP by two. Okay, I guess it's for like the trials. That seems pretty dope too. Nice. Uh, <laughs> wait, by <bye>, Mitch's. <laughs> And then all the Mitch stands will accept me. What if I don't want y'all to accept me? I'm glad uh, to be not accepted. <laughs> Wait, let's get an Ori's. Recover is one HP per each phase completed. That seems kind of good too. I feel like, um, wow, faster walking is <laughs> doing Weavy. Weavy, how dare you? <laughs> oh man. I think it actually was pretty decent. Two times. Nah. Let me do Kakaroos. I think that one seemed pretty good. Right? It permanently increases HP by two. <laughs> no! Not Impreg Mitch! No, Dara! I can't! I can't deal with this. I bet Mitch gave you those medals since he's so kind. He's just such a sweetie. No. I can't do this. Not today, Dara. Not fucking today. I can't handle this. Oh god, you know, I think these streams have been fun. They've been a great time, but I think we need to cancel them now, you know? I just can't handle this anymore. So, with that being said... <laughs> with that being said, we're gonna cancel cancel the streams. Uh, I might buy more HP. That sounds kinda, kinda dope. Oh man. First aid! How much more do I have? 176. I can literally buy, like, almost... <laughs> I can buy everybody but Mitch's. <laughs> Get fucked, Mitch. I think I literally have enough to buy like almost everybody's. I kind of like Sotsky's too. That seemed pretty cool. What's Sotsky's again? 75. I might get Sotsky's and then Ayame's. Yeah, that seems pretty dope. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, yeah, Ayame's. Sprint. Hell yeah. Woo! Oh my god, I'm so fast! Yes! Bless! Bless! We stand you, Ayame. Lesbian runner, we love you. Oh my god! <laughs> Speed! <laughs> Freaking Sonic now, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> okay. Oh. Hey, Maida, wait. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I kind of sounded weird there. Makari, you didn't go to the invest you didn't go to investigate the fifth floor. I stopped by the library because I had something to investigate, but then I found an important clue. Important clue? Do you remember there was a locked door in the back of the library? Oh yeah. It's like that was kind of a long time ago. Um that door opened. Oh, really? I thought Monokuma only said that the fifth floor was open. 
I don't know why he didn't mention about the back door of the library, but there was a lot of interesting things inside. That area is open now, so go ahead and see for yourself. Okay, thank you, Makario. One word. Since both Akane and Teruya are in charge of the fifth floor without seeing this, why don't you tell them later? They both rushed over there without a second thought. I'll be heading to the fifth floor. Okay, I thought she was going to tell me not to tell them for a second. Bye, Makario. Wait, what? Makaru! She just said Teruya and Akane. She's really starting to become friendly with us. Ah, oh, she loves us! Ah, oh, I feel like she's giving death flags, though. I feel like her being, like, nice and finally opening up is really making me worry. It's really making me worry for her. Also, chat, I better not see any... I better not see y'all telling anybody to slay. Because last chapter, you guys told Satsuki to slay, and she took it literally, okay? A second time, somebody's taken slay literally. It's like, I swear, if I see slay Ray in the chat, I'm gonna flip out and be like, No, no, don't tell her to slay, don't tell her to slay, please! She, she won't understand, she'll actually slay. Anyways, thanks to Vicario, now I know that there's an open place besides the fifth floor. The door at the back of the library. I'll make sure to check it out later as well. I feel like Ray and Haru were like, <laughs> like <laughs> I fucking love how speedy he is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fast. This is awesome, dude. I'm so glad I got this. I wish I would have gotten it earlier. <laughs> fast as fuck, boy. Okay. Oh, trees are down. It's an old book written in an unknown. No, <laughs> fucking stop it. No, don't tell her to slay. No, she's not gonna get it. Stop it. Girl bossing. Tell her to girl boss. She'll understand that. She'll understand. She's not gonna get it. She's not gonna get it though if you tell her to slay. Nobody tell anybody to slay this chapter. It's like, not that I blame you guys for last chapter, but I do blame you guys for last chapter, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> it's an old book written in an unknown language. I think it's telling Ray to slay. Please, please, for the love of God, Ray, don't slay. Don't slay. Nobody slay this chapter. We are canceling slaying. It's an old book written in an unknown language. <laughs> okay, wait. Can I read here? As Makari said, it really is open. The door behind the library. But what even is this place? The room inside the library has a very different atmosphere from the outside. And there were a few books here. But even those were all empty. There's only a half-open book left by Makaru on the desk. <laughs> you guys are just telling everybody to slay. <laughs> Mitch, slay! <laughs> Mitch rises from the dead and slays. <laughs> There's nothing that stands out in particular, so this is all about the book. And is this the important clue Makaru mentioned? It's a bit of a small book, and it looked portable. I decided to read only the part that could be read by picking up the notebook that had only half of it left, as if someone else had torn it apart. I finally arrived here. For the time being, well, by the way, this diary was still here. Well, it's just a few that come here. A day has passed. Everyone can't hide their anxiety. They can't just say it, since we can't get out of here. In the worst case, we should live here all our lives. But would it be better than being? This kind of seems a lot like Dog and Rumpa 1 so far. Don't say slay. <laughs> oh no, like the Disney thing. Oh god, it's gonna be Kinji all over again. I know. <laughs> Nobody say slay, please. <laughs> no more slaying. Slaying is gonna be a it's gonna be a banned word in this chat from now on. <laughs> Cause every time you guys tell somebody to slay, they take it literally. <laughs> uh, quite a bit of time has passed. But I was gonna say, um, it seems like I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be like a diversion, you know? Like, it's gonna make it seem like, oh, you know, the world's ending, because, I don't know, Junko's evil twin, Kizaragi, decided to plunge the world into despair, so now we're locked in here for, you know, blah blah blah, because we're the only hopes for humanity, and then, you know, kind of similar to Dying Rumpel 1, Kizaragi, or whoever the mastermind's supposed to be, locked us in here and decided to make us all, you know, kill each other, like in Dying Rumpel 1, that kind of seems like what it's setting it up to be, but I feel like it's gonna be different, you know? Like, they're gonna set it up to be, it could seem like, this is gonna be exactly like Dying Rumpel 1, but then it's not. Uh, quite a bit of time has passed. Now the mood is a bit more stable. Oh yeah, I'll have a link to the subreddit in the description. It should already be in the description. Uh, maybe in like the socials? No, wait. Eh. I will update the description after the stream. I don't think I updated it. But the subreddit will be in the description. I saw somebody saying they were having a hard time finding it. I'll have it in the description. But if you just search like Weeby News on Reddit, I think it should come up. It's just our Weeby News. But I'll uh, make sure to uh, put it in the description for uh, this video and the other streams and videos too. Oh yeah, quite a bit of time has passed. Now the mood is a bit more stable. I feel like it has become that way. However, I feel an unknown anxiety. 
Is this really it? The anxiety that I have has been growing more and more. I don't want to believe it, but if there's class among us. <laughs> oh man, this guy really likes among us. We will be done since the moment we set foot in here. The suspects are them. They are suspicious, sussy bakas. Uh, <laughs> after that, the notebook was torn to half and I couldn't be read anymore. It just kind of turned into some like a uh, yaoi uh, among us fan fiction at some point. They must have gotten really bored in here. Oh, thank you, uh, Kirigiri, for donating $10. Kizaragi, sweat, regret, ASET! Oh my god! <laughs> Why is he like ASET? I didn't even think about that, but that's so perfect! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll have to come up with some slang that he can say, like the ASET stuff. <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you for the donation, though, I appreciate that. What, is this a diary written by someone? Who wrote it? Plus this content. Uh, we can't get out of this place, but God, I'm really, I'm really engrossed in this uh, Among Us fan fiction they wrote after that part. We might live here our whole lives. These words are like, it's like, it's the same as we are in right now. I feel like Yuki might have wrote this diary when he was like trapped in here or something. Nah, I don't know. Other than that, I couldn't tell who wrote this diary for what reason. Makaru must have read this diary. Rather than worrying myself, let's think about it with everyone later. Makari was like, so what'd you think about that Among Us fan fiction in the back? You know, my favorite character was uh, Minjo. <laughs> Not to be based on Kinjo. Okay, uh... <laughs> He's so speedy now. <laughs> it's like hard to walk normally. Dee! Or it's hard not to like crash into things. Dee doo doo. Okay. Race slays by pop and locking. That is true. Pop and lock queen. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what the hell? Um... As usual, I take the stairs to investigate a new place. Although a new place has opened, I could not connect it to the usual landscape that soon came into my sight. Fucking blood all over the rooms and stuff. Nobody's like attacking us, right? There's no like mono beast, right? Terrible bloody synth. The ground and walls cracked. It was a terrible sight as if this was a horrifying tragedy that just happened here. Hmm. You must be surprised, Maida. Makario. Well, who wouldn't be surprised to see this sight? Oh, I got some jamming ass music in the background. Do 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 do. Hell yeah! <laughs> what are you doing, Yuki? I'm just dancing, dude. <laughs> yeah, honestly, even I can't help but fight the smell. We will too, because the fifth floor is so far distinctly different than any other floor. It is different if it's bloody like this. You idiot! The blood is already there, but look at the overall structure. It's not the same. Soon enough, you'll notice the structure of the room, the structure. What is clear is that this is a very interesting place. Monokuma said we needed to be prepared in order to see the fifth floor. It means there must be something only in this floor. Well, let me look at it from top to bottom. Don't be dazed and investigate. I will try. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with this floor? Is this where the human experiments were taking place? It's too abnormal. Ugh. The impression of blood and destruction is so intense that it's not very noticeable, but I should investigate first. Is this song from Ultra Despair Girls? I feel like I forget how many bangers Ultra Despair Girls has. Um, what is up with this place, dude? Uh, what's up, Makario? Oh, uh, Makario, trying to investigate this room? Might have. No, I'd like to, but it's impossible. This room is locked. Ah, freaking Monokuma lying. A lock? Are you saying it can't be opened? Just shush and come here. Okay. Do you see it? There's a password input panel. Oh. It's Sessi Baka, don't you know? A oh, password, not a normal lock? Moreover, Monokuma said there was nothing locked on the fifth floor. <laughs> this is probably supposed to be um, Yuki. Ah, that's not it! The record room has an auto lock function, so I can't open it as I like it. Monokuma! Who is it important enough that it needs an auto lock? No, wait, it's it's not like that. What on earth happened to the fifth floor, anyways? What the hell is this? Ooh, isn't it isn't it your job to figure that out? I'm glad you like it. This place was specifically left as it was at the time. As it was at the time. Okay. Uh, oh, damn it! <laughs> I'm spoiling shit. Damn it! I ran my mouth too much. I don't know. So figure it out yourself. Anyways, the door to the rec room will open once you enter the password. Got it? So we gotta find the password. Oh, and one more thing. 
for the record, only one person can go in. Okay, that seems like something that could happen. I don't know, like plan to murder later. If someone is already inside, it won't open, even if you enter the password correctly. Does that, does a dead body count or what? What, why does such a pain in the ass system exist? To make a murder more complicated, Ray. The recording room itself is a single room. I can't do anything with this because it checks the heart rate. Okay, yep. So, okay, somebody's definitely gonna die in here, right? Cause it's, I don't know, it's going too much with this heart rate stuff. So then it's gonna be like, oh, well, can two people be in there? Oh wait, if one of them's dead, it is okay. Something like that. The heart rate of the person inside restricts access. Then what if one or more person enters at the same time? That's impossible too. The sensor at the entrance will activate and secondary bulkhead doors will block the entry. Well, you guys don't know the password. So this is useless information anyways. Okay, Monokuma. Well, of course. Maida, you don't know the password either. That's... Doesn't matter. Even if it wasn't specifically the rec room, there are still interesting clues in the other rooms as well. Let's continue the investigation by being open-minded. Once the investigation is over, I'll call you. So you better do a good job investigating. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. By the way, Makaru, you are often disgusted at gatherings and reporting investigations. It's rather funny when you ask to report our investigation to you. Seeing that you won't stop talking means you don't want to investigate. Okay, sure, let's not do it. <laughs> I, I was joking, I I'm sorry. Oh yeah, well I was joking too. Aw, look at you, Ray. Although it worries me a little bit that you're becoming so likable. <laughs> I'm like, stop it, Ray. Don't become too likable. Don't become too likable and don't slay. Sorry, go ahead and investigate. <sighs> I'm getting really scared for Ray now. Seriously, Makaru has no openings. I just got a reverse beating. But in the past, she would have been angry. I guess taking a joke with a joke is a little better? <sighs> okay, locked. It seems it can only be opened by entering the password. Do doo. Record room, only staff allowed. Okay, I can't click on this stuff, right? Or can I? So it's kind of weird. It's like I can't click on the blood, but I also can't walk over it. Kind of interesting. Collection room. I guess we can go in here. Oh, hey, Akane. There's a small notebook on the desk. There was a notebook full of various articles clipped from the newspaper. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, let's see, what article is this? Oh my god, it's me! I'm so famous! Look at me fucking shit up, Mida! Huh? No way! Seeing the clipped articles, I couldn't hide my surprise. In the photos, in the newspaper article, a gigantic Monokuma, a mob dressed with Monokuma costumes were public revealed. It's like ball Monokuma in the corner too. What the fuck is that thing? What are the- what are these fishy contents? The world's most biggest desperate event in human history? <laughs> According to the article, the world situation went in jeopardy due to a sudden simultaneous ter ter terrorist attack all over the world. Yeah, so it is gonna be like the uh, canon references. I really think it's gonna be a diversion though. We'll see. It was a crisis, especially since they're showing it in the fifth chapter, you know? We'll see. It was a crisis that should have been, that should have never happened again in history. I do definitely think the world's gone to shit, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be as, um, you know, similar to Apple one as uh, we think it is. Maida-kun, what's wrong? You look surprised. Akane, look at this. What? A newspaper? I don't really read the news that much. <gasps> oh, what is this Monokuma? See, I got worshippers. I got the Monokuma cult. You, you think the Kenjo cult and the Mitch cult are powerful? Wait until you see the Monokuma cult. We got ball Monokuma on our side, Nike. <laughs> Not Nike, Maida. <laughs> It seems to be called the most desperate event in human history. Akane, do you know? There is nothing, this absurd thing. No matter how much I read the article, if this had happened, it would have been an uproar on the news or the internet. In the day in this event, it's said to have occurred in the future. The future? What else does it say? Did it say the, they didn't say the year yet. It's literally the future. <laughs> we were kidnapped at the entrance ceremony, so we seem to remain here, and it must have passed roughly two weeks until today. The day written in this newspaper is three months from today? Okay, so that's where the time frame is. Okay. Really? How did this happen? Obviously we... 
It was because of the school circumstance. So we entered a little earlier than the normal semester, right? Yeah, we didn't pay much attention to it because they mentioned the main class, which is not a preparatory department, is a free atmosphere rather than a standard class schedule. We really didn't bother very much. Thinking about it, the date written in this paper is almost as close to the start of a normal semester. Well, I don't, I don't know what it means, but it doesn't make sense that a newspaper is from a future date. The contents of the newspaper are also unconventional. <laughs> it must be fake, Yugi. And the whole Monokuma aspect of it could be some fabrication, clearly. Yeah, I think so too. But maybe something strange happened here. Then, for now, let's talk about it with Rei-chan later. Rei-chan must know more things than we do, so we might be able to clear... I'm able to clear this or something. Okay, then about this notebook... <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh god, I just read something really bad. <laughs> Not you thirsting for ball monokuma chat. No. Oh god, Kenji, please. Please yassify the chat. Oh god. I'll have it. I can hand it to Ray Chan later, okay? Oh gosh. The world's worst desperate event in human history. Why did I get this ominous feeling? Okay, I guess we'll... It kinda looks like we have blue hair. More Kizaragi? Okay, yeah. Yusaka Kizaragi. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know if I really have any killer or uh, victim predictions right now. I don't know, I feel like Ray's giving me some victim vibes though. I'm definitely... I don't know, I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Hanzo Kizaragi. Oh, there is something here. Oh, hey! So we have Hanzo. What was this other person? Yukaru or something? Uh, Yusaka. Yeah, Yusaku. No, Yusaku. <laughs> cannot. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot uh, read. Oh, is this gonna be. Is this gonna be our guy? Our guy? Oh, it's just a Satsuki stand based. Okay, everyone, listen carefully. Slay bot. <laughs> Don't actually slay because if you actually slay, Monokuma will slay, and that's not good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, uh, Satsuki Stan. Also based. We love Satsuki. Akana, you're here. Are you investigating? Okay, so Kizaragi's probably gonna be in that picture, right? Um, um, yes, but. But. Look at this. Oh, oh, it looks so nice. What? What is this? Yamato Kizaragi, the third president, president of the Kizaragi Foundation. Huh? <laughs> it's not the same name or something like that, right? Wherever you look, the Kizaragi we met is a former student, right? Does like, he look older too? It's kind of hard to tell with anime stuff. That's true. It's written as the Kizaragi Foundation that Makari mentioned first. I feel like he'd have to be older though if he's the freaking president. I know he does look so dapper though. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say anything, but he is slaying. <laughs> I know I said not to say slay, but he is slaying in that picture. I thought this was the principal's office at first, but when I looked clearly, it said that it was the collection office, principal's office, or if the headmaster's, or if it is the headmaster's office, it's already on the fourth floor. More than that, alternative, alternative, this room is. The fifth floor is all bloody and in a terrible shape. It's a strange feeling. It feels like only the fifth floor is independent from Hope Speak Academy. It turns out that Makaru, who I met a while ago, said the same thing. I don't really know what's up with these Kizaragi people, dude. I feel like they might be victims in this, though, somehow. <laughs> somehow, I don't know. It turns out that Makaru, who I met a while ago, said the same thing. The fifth floor is very different from all the previous floors. There's also the fact that Kizaragi-kun's picture is hanging here. Seems like an important clue that shouldn't be overlooked. I agree with you there. Let's keep it in mind and continue investigating other places. There seems to be a lot of information on the fifth floor. Ugh, it's a bit difficult because of the smell of blood. It doesn't go away, but I'll try my best. Okay. Interesting. Interesting! Can I... I can click on this other stuff, right? Oh, I can click on these, though. Oh, yay! Korean! <laughs> my favorite! <laughs> totally know what you're saying. No, I don't think I can click on anything else. I gotta say, it's really uh, it's really nice to walk so fast though. Can't click on this. Or wait, wait. Uh, nope. What about this? 
Uh, one floor laboratory. Um, wait, how do I? Okay, there we go. Oh, there you are, Makaru. Makaru, you came here. Um, uh, what happened? What's wrong? This room is disturbingly deep. It's not similar to compare it to a small shock. Huh. Makaru did not speak anymore. Deep? Like, just long? Okay, I guess so. What the hell is this place? It said it was a laboratory. What is... <laughs> was that, like, a test tube? Test... Oh, what is that over there? Like, a lizard in the test tube or something? <laughs> what the hell? No! <laughs> Dara, stop these edits! <laughs> Mr. Mind, oh my god, please post this on the subreddit later. <laughs> Biggest, most awful, most tragic event in Mitch history. <laughs> that is so true. Oh my god, we're gonna see. I know, you know, you're gonna pass it off like you edited this, Dara, but I just know that's an actual canon screen cap from the <laughs> from the sixth chapter when Mitch is revealed as the mastermind. He just comes out in a Junko, in the Junko outfit. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, thanks for joining, Jolly. I'm late. Hi, Kizaragi best boy. Thank you. And yes, Kizaragi is very... <laughs> Very interesting so far. I I definitely I like him a lot. I think he's great. I'm very interested in him and he's very entertaining, you know? He's so like all over the place. What the hell is this place? It said it was a laboratory. No matter where I looked, there were some kind of incubators and blood everywhere. It was an unpleasant place. I have to investigate. Starting from those weird capsules. Yeah, I was like, what is this? <laughs> what is this freaking like? There's a weird little test tube thing over here. What? I want to take a look at that, man. Is that where you guys created Kizaragi? What is this thing? Some of them have lights as red, and some of them have lights as green. These are the Kizaragis that failed. Amidst the unpleasant metal-like capsules lined up while checking one of them, I found a familiar name on front of the box. Oh. Ayame Hitano. Oh, shit. Are these where we were like located when we were like frozen? And now we're red if it's if we've already died. Huh? What is Hitano? Why is the name of the dead Hitano? Hitano's name suddenly appeared. No, isn't this really out of place? Suddenly I got a horrifying feeling and noticed there were only 16 capsules, and I ran to the one next to it. Higa Mitsuhiro. Oh, guys, it's confirmed he is dead. <laughs> like, you just see, like, Mitch inside the capsule. Let me out, let me out. I'm not fucking dead, you. <laughs> oh, no. Let's, let's just leave that there and pour some acid on here. Higa Mitsuhiro. Are we. We weren't made in a lab, right? <laughs> I guess we'll. I guess we'll find out. Oh, shit. Are the bodies in here, though? That'd be crazy. Hmm, maybe so. I don't know. Mitch's name. Hitano and Mitch. All of them were friend <laughs> friends. Uh, all of them, except for Mitch, were friends who died after being executed by Monokuma. Yuki Maida. No way, this wouldn't be... What's inside these fucking capsules? It was only after checking the status of the third capsule, I could realize what my sinister premonition was true. Yuki Maida. Oh, yeah, still alive. My name. And a green light. Is there anything in these, though? Yeah, I was like, I wanna, I wanna open these! Swallowing my spit, I pushed open the capsule with my name on it. It's empty. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, no, but the dead bodies are in the other ones, though, aren't they? It's empty. Yeah, for a second I thought like Yuki's real version was gonna be like inside the capsule. Be like, oh no, am I a doll? No, I can't handle this, dude. Looking at the 16 capsules, some of them were lit up. Some of them had a green light on. In addition, a mark was written on the front of a capsule with a red light next to the name. And a mark symbol was written on the front of the doors with the green light. Oh, thank you, Sean. Uh, we revive Mitch. Find his twin. Tell Mitch to slay while locking the two of them in a room and watch the fight. Hell yeah, now that's the only time. That's the only time we allow people to say slay. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Capsule with red light next to the name and a mark symbol was written on the front of the doors with a green light. Counting the numbers, there are nine red lights and seven green lights. 
The names of the green light capsules were, yeah, Yuki, Akane. I was like, I would love it if like Kinji was in here. And Kinji's in here for some reason. That's so crazy. And Sasuke, for some reason, all the students besides Mitch have a green light. Isn't that so weird? <laughs> Yuki Maeda, Akane, Surugi, Kinjo, Rei Makaru, Makako, Chiruya, Yamato. No, so Kinji's not in here. Damn it. All of the living ones. If that's it, then, then the other ones. No way, they can't be. Uh, yeah, they can, Maeda. Uh, the chat told me to slay, so I was like, oh, you guys, I guess I'll just slay. That's just me, okay? Blame the chat. It's exactly what Maeda kind of thinking. Monokuma, you, you piece of shit, you did this. Yeah, this lab is a place to hold the bodies of the people who have died so far. Even though it's not really a morgue, it would suit for one. Yeah. <laughs> These were all made for each one of you. You can open the capsule at any time. If you miss the faces of your dead friends, you can pretend they're still alive. I heard Weebies in denial, so I was like, let's just make her, let's just make her look at them in the fucking face. Take them out and see them. Dance with them. Slay with them. Oh, although you'll be punished severely for corpse damage, so try to appreciate it as much as possible, okay? You shouldn't touch in a museum, but only use your eyes. Oh, thank you, Monsky. Open my capsule. Find Monica in there. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> hey, that means, uh, that means Matki's still alive, and we love that. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. How did you do this? This is terrible. You're, you're fucking insane, dude. According to what Monokuma says, there are really my dead friends inside these capsules in front of me. I know that, but how can I understand this? How can you convince yourself of this insane action? Huh, oh, you don't believe me? Then wait a minute! Oh, oh god, no! Don't do that! I'll take one out and show it to you! Is it gonna be Mitch? <laughs> what? Stop it! Enough! Oh, here, come on out, Mitchy! Oh, it's gonna be Maki's! Just stay still. It's just a little grotesque, so why not just use Maki's corpse with the least damaged body, okay? You should see Kenji's weeby. It's so fucked up. Stop! <gasps> Ooh. Oh, shit, no! <laughs> what the fuck, Monokuma? No, we slaying Monokuma this chapter. I'm so sick of his shit, bro. I am so sick of you, Monokuma. Fuck off, dude. How about it? It's been such a long time. Isn't it nice to meet each other again? Damn. Ah, I thought Yuki for a second was gonna like bitch slap Monaco. I was hoping that's what it was. This is so fucked up. Maki, how, how could you? Oh God, despite my refusal, he opened the capsule without hesitation and Monokuma pulled out Maki's body. At the same time, anger flowed inside as it should. But my body couldn't react to anything because of the of the insane and abnormal situation. Oh, sorry. Even though the degree of damage was small, it's been quite some time since they started to decay. It's been corrupted a lot. Huh? It's a bit disgusting, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with him? I was like, was Monokuma this bad in the Danganronpa games? He was a little shit, but like, I don't remember him doing anything like this, dude. This mastermind's fucked up. You can endure it, right? The power of your friendship is stronger, right? I do kind of feel like Monokuma is more fucked up in this game with like the Kenji thing, the Satsuki and the Haru thing. That was fucked up too. And then this, like, bro. <sighs> oh, damn you. Punch him in the face. Oh yeah, the smell of rotten flesh is bad for your health, so I'll put this away, but if you want to look again, hey, you want me to pull out Mitch's body? That'll cheer you up, right? Well, I guess that part might cheer me up. <laughs> Even the ultimate sharpshooter who, sharpshooter who struggled like that eventually became like this. Oh my god. Wow, why are you overreacting so much? It's a corpse. You've seen plenty already. Jesus. Shut up. Why the hell? What's the reason for showing me this? What's the reason? What else is there than to make you guys despair? What? You guys were the only, were the one who started after the class trial yesterday. You'll reveal my identity and try to punish me. I'm just playing my opposition. I know you guys are all in Bakaru's room trying to plot against me, dumbasses. Accordingly, see? 
Oh, uh, thank you, Akira. Damn, this Monokuma is more- I know! He's so fucked up! I was like, literally, I don't remember him doing anything this bad in the other games. Like, for real. For real. Nothing like this fucked up, you know what I mean? It's crazy. This Monokuma is super messed up. I'm gonna- I'm gonna feel real good when we murder the Mastermind in Chapter 6. Unless it's like Kenji or something. <laughs> it's like, I say that, then it's gonna end up being a character I really like. And be like, no! They didn't mean it! I can fix them! It is often in boys' comics, right? When the protagonist powers up and announces a decisive showdown, the, vil the villain also powers up accordingly to draw the protagonist even more desperate. It's the same. Aw, oh, Monkey, why is it always me? <laughs> I know, it's so sad. Oh, that was so fucked up, dude. That was so fucked up. Thanks for the donation. Oh, more desperate, it's the same. All donations will be going towards uh, therapy <laughs> after this. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it, such a such a terrible thing. Well, no matter how far you go, I wonder if you can reach the truth, let alone my identity. I'm hopelessly bored, waiting still. Come on, power up already. Go Super Saiyan or something. For reference, that desperate expression and almost vomiting was very good. It was a nice show for me to someone like Maida. Oh, goodbye. Doses. Let me know if you want to see any other corpses. Damn it, stop joking around. What despair. I'll never forgive you. Monokuma does outrageous, inhumane acts. I have to get back on track and continue to investigate the new areas. Oh my god, that was so fucked up, dude. Can I look at these? No, I want to see the names for all of these. Oh wow, guys, I know Korean. This one says Kinji Uehara. Isn't that great? That's so awesome that <laughs> he's still alive. Wow, what's confirmed right here? That's perfect, wow. Oh my god, these two, uh, this one says Haru on it. Perfect, I'm so glad I learned Korean. And this one says Satsuki, no way, no way. And all these red ones, they all say Mitch on it. Oh, good. I was so worried for a second. Just Mitch, but spelled a little bit differently. Okay. Oh, good. You know, I was like a little worried. I was like, you know, sometimes I'm like, maybe, maybe the executions and the deaths aren't fan made, but this, this confirm it, confirms it, you know? It's some kind of incubator. It looks very dangerous. I shouldn't touch it. Oh, what the hell is this thing? <laughs> is that, are you growing a new Kinji in there? <laughs> Can I have him? Okay. Oh, I got the Ultra Despair Girls music again, too. Can I click on any of these? Probably not, right? The delusion? <laughs> what delusion? I'm not delusional, guys. That's not me at all. Look at eye twitching. What do you mean? They're all alive. Everything's great. <laughs> Nothing bad has happened at all in this game. Only happiness. <laughs> The Maki that uh, Monokuma showed me was actually just, um, was actually Mitch in a wig, in a blonde Maki wig. That's so crazy. Uh, Monokuma's so silly putting Mitch's corpse in a Maki wig. <laughs> Cause she's still alive. <laughs> wow, that's so wild. <laughs> I can barely talk to people, I'm going so fast. Ah, oh, Yuki, you are here now. Turiya, the fifth floor is. Did you see it? No, even with seeing our, or sleeping in this room right now is, I can't even guess as to what happened here. It's like a terrorism event just ended. According to the tag on the door. I mean, Mitch, you know, he is bald after his execution, so that makes it easier for Monokuma to put the Maki wig on there. See? <laughs> See? I'm thinking strong. Thinking strong here. Big brain. According to the tag on the door of this room, it's called the parlor. I'm investigating what I can. By, by the way, oh, by the way, Teruya, are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? About me being okay? Well, it's bloody everywhere. I think even I feel like the scale of our situation is getting bigger and bigger nonstop. I'm kind of saying this now, but Teruya was very weak amongst these things. You were kind of a little baby in the group, you know? That I must say, uh, you were kind of a little baby. A little bit of crybaby. Uh, Yuki, you sure know how to talk. Saying all those things in front of me, surprisingly. Ah, uh, come on, dude. You deserve to get roasted at least a little bit. You are correct. Honestly, the fifth floor is shocking enough that I would never imagine this bloody scent that keeps hitting your nose. I just want to throw this investigation and run away like a coward. But we made a promise to Satsuki. We vowed to not run away anymore. And these goggles, Haruhiko's goggles, are giving me strength. 
it's scary, and I want to run away from everything. But every time I think about that, I think about them too. It's kind of funny when I say this, but I'm more serious than ever. Aw, I'm glad is getting some uh, character development. I don't think his is as much of a death flag to me. I feel like it's just because, I feel like usually when characters grow after a death, they stay alive in Danganronpa. I feel like that's kind of something that is a thing. Maybe I'm maybe I'm full of it though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I can see no, I can see Teresa's determination clearly. I'm sorry for calling you a coward, a little bitch boy. You didn't say that the first time. Sorry for calling you a little fucking bitch piece of shit, Teruya. You, you can stop now. I mean, really, that was uncalled for. You, you can stop. To be honest, I'm probably more of a coward. I don't mind. At least it's not a bad thing to say. Well then, I'm gonna continue. Investigating the parlor more. Is Maida going to investigate here too? Oh, I'll go somewhere else. I'll leave the parlor to you. Okay, I hope you find something too. Uh, I'm glad to see Teruya. Uh, he's growing up. We love that. Akani surpassed Ak Ayami's death and Makaru also began to acknowledge and cooperate with us. Teruya also became mentally strong in the sense of Haruhiko's redemption. Even though Kinjo was fainted by shock, he too began to recognize his twisted values. Hopefully, if he ever wakes up, he'll, um, <laughs> he'll do good. Don't slay Teruya. Thank you. Thank you, Sean, in the chat. Not to mention Haruhiko and Satsuki, who threw away their lives to save us. <laughs> Love them. But what about me? Am I growing? Somehow it feels like everyone is moving away. It's like I'm the only one stuck in one place on my own. That sucks. No, why am I suddenly immersed in this state of futile inferiority? I'm struggling as far as I can to defeat the mastermind alongside everyone else. That's the only action to think and act now. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I was like to kind of correct myself a little bit. Oh, yay, Korean. <laughs> okay. I don't think any of this is going to be important, right? Yay. Oh, it's also just saying, um, so just to translate for you guys, it was saying, don't worry, Weeby. You're not delusional. Kenji is alive. Um, and he's slaying in Mexico right now, but slaying in the good way in Mexico. I made sure to, uh, you know, to specify that too. So you guys don't have to worry too much about that. Okay, I can't walk on that blood stain for some re reason. And what's this door? They said that the fifth floor is the top floor, so it doesn't seem like it would go anywhere. Is this the rooftop? rooftop? Uh, is it locked? Fuck you, Monokuma. Damn it, it's locked. Monokuma might have lied. He said the fifth floor was all open. So like barricaded or something? Still, I feel something is off about this door. There seems to be something really important behind this. I wonder. It's suspicious, but I don't have many options right now, so it's a waste to worry about. Let's leave it alone for now. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Zephy, I'm dead. Yuki, wake Kinjo up with a kiss like Snow White. You can do it, Yuki. Let's go to his room right now. I believe in you, the power of love. Kinjo would wake up and be like, I dumped, I thought I dumped your ass, Yuki. Damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> I think I've looked around at all the newly opened places. I decided to move to the dormitory. Let's see my other husband, Kizaragi. After roughly competing, completing the investigation, oh my god, <laughs> like four of us here. I know half of us are like, you know, brain dead right now, but uh, still, it's so depressing. After roughly completing the investigation of the newly opened places, we decided to gather at the dining hall as usual to report on the investigation according to Makari's proposal. Now let me hear what everyone has investigated. This is the first time a report is being conducted by only four people. Jesus, this is depressing. There are only four of us in this giant room. It can't be helped. Kinjo and Kurokawa are unconscious. And Kizaragi, well, we, we don't talk about him. Hey, but is it really necessary to report on the investigation here? That is, well, the eyes and the ears are open. That's right. Connie glanced at the surveillance camera and blurted out her words. I think I know what she wants to say. It would only mean that a report of the investigation could be comfortably could be comfortably in Makari's room, which was not affected by surveillance cam cameras. Now, you guys have been doing reports in the dining hall so far, haven't you? Then you better do what you've been doing. Now, what's this? I feel like it's so suspicious I'm talking like this. Uh, maybe Monokuma's too drunk to notice. <laughs> Pounding down like margaritas. No, no, whatever. <laughs> And as I, 
And I said this, didn't I? You can't stay in that place for long. I said I'll call when we really need it. Until then, do as usual. Although, I'll praise you for not saying anything there without thinking. Honestly, you guys were dubious about your lightness and your words. But now you're doing very good. It's because you have me on your side, girl boss. Ah, yes, thanks! Oh, new ship. <laughs> Akani looking all starry-eyed at Ray. Okay, I'll stop. Well, I was praised by Ray chan You look like a real teacher. She is not just a real teacher, right? An ultimate level professor, too. Please, don't make the same sounds as Maida. Anyways, let's begin the investigation report. As you know, we've investigated it. The fifth floor was uniquely different, even within the different atmosphere of the school. I wonder, with the room that's locked... I was trying to think of it, and like, um, I think potentially, hmm, I'm trying to think. I know, I love that Akani sprite too, it's so cute. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, potentially maybe Kizaragi already went to that room and like barricaded it from the inside. He does seem kind of brain dead though, so it's like, I don't really know exactly what's going on with him. If he's gonna be like smart enough to do that, I don't know, we'll see. Ah, uh, the first thing I discovered was the ribble bloodstain spreading across the fifth floor and the signs of destruction. I can't even guess what happened in there. I don't think the corridor was originally like that. Is something like a terrorist event happening at Hope Speak Academy? Because when the second floor was open, there was a notice in the library that the doors to Hope Speak would be closed. If there was that then, the serious problem mentioned in the notice is, what was left on the fifth floor? The Monokuma raids and stuff, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in all of... Mitch history. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. When we entered Hope's Peak Academy, there was no notice that Hope's Peak was closing, and the fifth floor should have been fine. Huh. Actually, I have a guess about that problem. But I won't talk about it here, so I'll call you later. For now, let's skip this and start with something else. Mitch's blood's all over the fifth floor. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, that's so crazy. <laughs> it's all only Mitch's blood on there. It's true. Nobody else has ever died in this universe besides Mitch. Too true. Oh, um, well, the rooms on the fifth floor were parlor, collection room, record room, and laboratory. There were rooms, four rooms in total. I checked the parlor room, like the kitchen and the dormitory. There were cooking utensils, like a gas stove or kitchen knives, so it seems possible to cook in there. Of course, the whole room is covered in blood, so you'd only do it if you were fucked up. So no one would want to cook in a place like that. I examined the collection room. Like Otori kun said, it was bloody in there. Are you guys doing Stan Mitch in Korean? <laughs> I'll have to reverse search that later. Oh my gosh. Well, there is something. There is a picture of him. Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah, we gotta talk about that. The third president of the Kizaragi Foundation, Yamato Kizaragi. The picture of Kizaragi was hung in the frame of the wall like that. Is that so? That's not all. Next to it was pictures of people named Yusaku Kizaragi and Hanzo Kizaragi, saying where they were the first and second representatives. Kizaragi Hanzo. That was... Isn't that the owner of the graduation album? Yeah, the first representative, Yusaku, was also. It is clear that there is something related to the Kizaragi Foundation in Hope Speak Academy. No, wait. Yamato Kizaragi was the third representative. The Kizaragi Foundation couldn't change the representative so quickly. What time frame would this be? It would have been Kizaragi Hanzo at the day of the entrance ceremony. No, this can't be either. Hmm. Ray-chan, what's wrong? Never mind, so what else? Um, other than that, in the collection room... Akane, there were those. The newspaper clippings. Oh, that's right! Guys, there was something very suspicious, but we had a clue that seemed promising. Look at this! What is this? Look at the contents of it. Looks like a notebook someone cut out and scrapped the newspaper articles. I wonder what Ray is gonna think of this. Ah, oh, what is this, Monokuma? No, not a Monokuma cult. We already got too many cults. The worst, most desperate event in all of Mitch history. What kind of joke is this? We don't know either. It was on the desk of the collection room. As it's written here, it seems that there's been an exponential increase. The mobs around the entire world were rioting in each country. Don't be ridiculous. This would have reached the army if that were the case. Where were they? 
If you look at this paragraph, there's been a reactionary molecule or key people among the mob that's responsible for the events of the disaster. So the response team in the event were not under any control due to the reactionary molecules that have been stained by the mobs. This is... The epicenter of this riot is called Hope's Peak Academy. Shocker. Stupid. <laughs> what? But I didn't know about such an event. We don't write. I mean, this is massive terror. It can happen in just a few late weeks like we are. I guess, um, I think um, she doesn't want to talk about, um, whatchamacallit. <laughs> I think, um, what was I going to say? It seems like Ray doesn't want to mention that, um, whatchamacallit, uh, her theory about, like, us being here for a really long time. Uh, kind of what it seemed like. Seemed like she was going to bring it up, um, bring it up at some point. That's true. Maybe it was Monokuma's manipulation. Honestly, it's not even real that a giant Monokuma destroys a building? It's not even a science fiction movie. Like, come on, who's going to believe this shit? It's also too absurd, but it's not that there is only the possibility of manipulation. According to this newspaper, the worst, most desperate event in human in history of mankind has occurred in the future. In the future. It must have been about two weeks since we were here at the entrance ceremony. But even calculating from that time, there's still a few months left until the date written in the newspaper. Then what is it? It's not like the newspaper flew in from the future in a time machine. Also, I heard Maida Kun's words and thought this could only be manipulation. But I don't know why they would make such an elaborate operation. If you think about it, it's obvious that all the videos of the first motive uh, would be manipulated. So there is nothing to be surprised about now, right? Like, y'all still don't believe that? Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> like, you guys still believe that everything's manipulated? Eh, I guess believe what you want. Future. Yeah, Ray, Ray believes it. Future. Fifth floor. Hope Speak Academy. Third generation representative. Please don't self-destruct, Ray. Starts making, like, robot noises. Oh, don't, 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 bleeding out the eyes. As expected, I'm convinced at this moment. Makaru, what's wrong? No, I'll tell you later. Yeah, she's gonna... That makes sense. Give me that notebook. I'll handle it. Okay, thanks, Ray. The only only smart one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we did a lot of murdering in uh, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks' time. Yeah, for now. Put all that suspicious... Put all suspicious things on hold. What's next? Did you find anything else? Maybe it's for the best, but Makaru... Oh, no, I missed it. Makaru is something. Of course, I think it's a manipulation, but I think we should put some thought into it more. Oh, look at you, Taria. Also being kind of, uh, kind of smart now. Ugh. <laughs> Makaru made us, made us stare at Taria without saying anything and raised her head towards the camera. Yeah, she's like, shut the fuck up. I'll tell, I'll tell you later, dies. No, don't say that. I hope not, dude. I hope not. Uh, I can see that, though, too. I feel like Ray really is raising a ton of death flags in this chapter. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Uh, um, it's like, I'll tell you later. Also, I'm going to go into this dark corridor by myself for a few hours. See you guys later. Nothing bad's going to happen. Uh, um, yeah, although it's better to leave the complicated thinking aside. Let's continue the investigation report. Um, well, I mainly investigated the collection room and the hallway. There was a place called the record room. What's going on there? I don't think you meet- Oh, did Dara? Wait, what- What is that picture, Dara? Is that Dream and Mitch making out? What? Wait, wait, wait a second. Who cares about clown airlines? It's time for meme. <laughs> no, I hate it. Is that what that is? Meme. I, I think that is it. I think that is it. No, I hate it so much. Oh, God. <laughs> meme shipper. <laughs> now that is the most cursed ship. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Oh, gosh. I'm going to be telling my, I'm gonna be telling my therapist about that, too. <laughs> Oh, gosh. There was a place called the record room. What's going on there? <laughs> record room. I couldn't enter. The door is locked with a password input device. <laughs> so if you don't know the password, the door won't open. It's like walking to therapy. I'm like, have you ever heard of meme? <laughs> meme shipping? It's like, what, what, what's that? <laughs> you don't want to know. You don't want to fucking know. <laughs> oh, God. So if you don't know the password, the door won't open. <laughs> 
Oh, that sounds very important. Uh, the password to the door probably is me. Of course, the mastermind is a dream and midshipper. <laughs> of course, it's gotta be it. Oh, that sounds very important. Then what about the lab? Did anyone search the lab? Um, oh God. <laughs> what, Rei-chan, Maida-kun, you two went silent all of a sudden. Don't be alarmed and listened. It's something we learned while searching the lab. There were 16 capsules in the lab. Oh God. I hope, I hope she doesn't uh, backtrack if she sees Ayame's body. And those capsules were the bodies of the people who have died so far inside. What? Huh? Did I hear something wrong just now? Then Monokuma came out and took Mitch's body, put Maki, a Maki wig on it, and made a dance in front of me. It was really fucked up. Are you deaf? It's bodies. The 15 of us, there are 16 capitals, including Yamato Kizaragi's, and the dead ones have their bodies stored inside them. Uh, surely this is just some nonsense, a real corpse? I know it sounds like crazy, but it's true. Monokuma took out Maki's body and showed it to me. Oh, that's so horrible! How can you do that to humans? I know! Y'all admit that it's twisted. Well, when was Monokuma not insane anyways? Anyways, we... In the case of the people who are still alive, a green light is on the capsule. That means, if we die in the future, we'll be put in that capsule? Yeah... That's crazy! I can't forgive him for harassing people who have already died! Yeah, he fucking sucks, dude. Yes, it's better if you got more fighting spirit risen further. It's better if you got more fighting spirit rising further to aspire more into looking for more clues. Unfortunately, the lab has nothing else to be discovered except that insane sight. Yeah, so don't go in there, okay? Then that's everything from the fifth floor compared to the previous one. I guess the progress was somewhat better. There's another door right at the end of the fifth floor, but that was also locked. No, but isn't that weird? The fifth floor was mentioned to be wide open by Monokuma. Yeah. I think Kizaragi's in there. But there are two places locked, that little shit! It's wrong to believe what he says in the first place. Looking at your priorities right now. <laughs> thank you, Makaka Kurakawa. Oh my god, I love that picture. That's awesome. But thank you for the uh, donation. I appreciate that. Looking at your priorities right now. You don't know anything about the library either. Uh, suddenly the library came up. Oh uh, yeah, we, we gotta tell them that. Oh, that's right. There was a locked door behind the library that was also open there. Yes, I told Maida. It's the way you heard it. The inside of that door was a small solitary room, similar to the fifth floor. Flower pots are broken. Even if there's a bookshelf, all the books are gone or damaged. But I found something interesting in it. Interesting? It was only half torn, but it was a diary written by someone, like a small notebook. Maida, don't interrupt my words! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, girl boss! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Anyways, the contents of the diary are like this. We barely arrived here for the time being, Will. Also, this diary was still here. Well, there are only a few who come here now. A day passed. Everyone can't hide their anxiety, but they can't help it. We can't get out of this place. In the worst case, we should live here forever. But it would be better than... Quite a bit of time has passed. Now the mood is somewhat calming. So I'm guessing like some of this stuff is ripped out because all these sentences are like not finished, right? However, I feel an unknown anxiety. Is this really it? The anxiety that I felt inside was getting bigger and bigger. I don't want to believe it, but if there's a class among us, from the moment we entered, we're finished. A class. Is there like an evil class somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, thank you, Jerry Bun. Weebies therapist, meme isn't real. It can't hurt you. Dara, bust the door open with that profile picture. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> and then she has to get therapy too. It's the never ending cycle. <laughs> the never ending cycle of meme. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? Shirtless, bald, pregnant Mitch? <laughs> no! No, get out. Get out! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, these freaking, uh, <laughs> these freaking profiles. You guys are too funny, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Shirtless, bald, pregnant bitch, I can't. I fucking can't. 
The suspects, suspects are them. They are suspicious. That's what it said. I'm gonna have to like reread this a million times. It kind of seems like, yeah, there's like a class that's evil or something. I don't know. <laughs> something like that, maybe. Um, oh God, I got distracted by bald, shirtless, pregnant Mitch <laughs> in the meme shippers. Oh gosh. But uh, yeah, it seemed like I don't know, maybe there was like a class, kind of like in Dragon Rampa 2, how there was like the remnants of despair. Maybe it's something like that. Oh man. Was that weird? I don't even know what they're talking about. It's no wonder that you don't understand because you're an idiot with no way to salvation. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ray. Some of the letters are blurred out and the back part is not torn, but this alone gives you a great clue, doesn't it? Uh, clue? That we might live here our whole life, that we can't get out. Doesn't it feel similar to our situation? Well, there's that too, but I'm sure about the person who wrote it was the same, in the same position like us. But it's a bit different from us when they say we barely arrived. It wasn't written that long ago because of the dust on the paper and dry ink. It wasn't written that long ago because of that. I mean, it may be a little different, but it was written by a person in this building. Now then, I'll ask at this point, if we... If there's another person who wrote this article, out of the 16 of us, including Yamato Kizaragi, who would it be? Is she already kind of catching on that it was us in here previously? That's like, I'm just kind of assuming, or I'm going off that logic, because that's how it was in Danganronpa 1, you know, they were supposed to be in there, to be safe from the outside world, and now, um, you know, Junko turned it, you know, back then it was Junko turned it to a killing game. This time it's whoever the mastermind is turned it to a killing game. So I'm, assu I'm assuming it was like Yuki who wrote it or something, but we'll see. Out of the 16 of us, including Yamato Kizaragi, who would it be? Huh? Well, I wouldn't be possible to find out by doing handwriting survey. But that method won't work with our dead friends. And we already know the person who wrote on this diary is the current people alive. Hmm. No, the handwriting check is bullshit, but Maida is right. The person who wrote this article is, uh, I think I already thanked you, Makako, but thanks for the donation again if I uh, didn't thank you before. I think it was just uh, delayed, though. Article is one of the currently alive people. Huh? How can you be so sure? Yeah, for real. I'm like, huh? <laughs> it's a guess, but from the nuances, nuances of the first paragraph, the author was not the first person to arrive here. But we were the ones to attend a Hope Speak Academy for the first time. Except for one person, the one who is unidentified and sure enough to hang a photo in this building. You know me, mean. Kizaragi. So she thinks Kizaragi wrote it. Is most likely that guy or Makako Kurokawa. Hmm. Why Makako? Unless... If I just go look at a totally different note. I would probably say that, like, um, whatchamacallit, maybe Makako or Kizaragi wrote it because they were being, like, experimented on in here. So they were, like, talking about how they're, like, locked in here and can't escape because of that. I guess we'll see. Why Makako-chan? In here. That's all I can tell you. In this place right now. Other than that, there were no other new clues. Makaro quickly noticed surveillance cameras and hurriedly, hurriedly terminated her speech. Ah, right. But we're in trouble. We found out very little. No, we didn't have a clue before, but we have found a lot. That's a huge fact, too. Really? That's Ray Chan for you. Ah, awesome. Girl boss. Well, this is also a fact that I realized after investigating with you guys. You're so nice now, Ray. In that aspect, you have my gratitude. Thank you. Stop being nice, Ray. Stop being nice because you're scaring me. <sighs> Makaru, where are you suddenly going? What about the investigation report? What is it? Aren't we done reporting? This is all I can tell you in this place right now. I'll call you later, so do your usual stuff. Bye, Mak Bye Makaru. Don't die, please. She's gone. We've gotten a lot closer since with Freechan. Since she said she's going to be with us, but it seems like she's reluctant she's reluctant to be with us somewhere in her mind. Still, where does Makaru? Want to do this? Let's think better. Right. Everyone noticed that Makaru, what Makaru was trying to say. Yeah. Now Raychan is more dependent. So let's follow Raychan's words. Aye, aye. Then we have to go to that newly opened library room. 
Dude, if Ray and Kenjo died, we're so screwed. They're like literally the only smart people in this uh, in this group. I'll go around and investigate. Let's behave as Makari suggested. Yeah, but something bothers me a little. What's wrong, Akane? No, it's just I'm worried about Kenjo kun and Makako chan. Well, that's one thing, but not that the first aid has been done. We have no choice but to wait for them to recover. I really want to check on them, dude. I really want to check on them. Ah, I haven't seen Kenjo like this whole episode, dude. <laughs> it's so weird. I even put him on the thumbnail. Come on, I gotta see him at least once. That's true for Kurokawa, but is Kenjo not awake? A day has already passed. Uh, yep, that's for granted. If Kenjo Kun was awake, he would have been severely punished because he didn't come out when introducing Kizaragi Kun. Monokuma. Go away. We never called you, you piece of shit. Whoa, easy. I just came to answer my Kun anyway. One more thing about Kenjo Kun. I haven't seen any signs of him waking up or any shocks at all. Pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> Go try and kiss him, Yuki. That'll probably work. Ah, uh, it's gone. Still, after listening to Monokuma, it makes sense. If Kenjo had been awake, he would have heard Monokuma's call and came to the gym. Because if we don't follow, we get punished. Does he just not care anymore? I don't know. That's more worrying, though. Kenjo kun I haven't seen any signs of him waking up. Honestly, when he was in the ballroom, and then waking up, so... To see stuff like this, I'd rather... Want him to, I'd rather him be fainted like this. <laughs> no, I believe if that you were... If you were Kenjo, you will surely realize your wrong values and wake up! Wake up. Yeah, I feel the same way, and it's best to join forces with Kenjo and get out of here, right? I was just joking, but I wasn't joking. <laughs> I like that guy being dead. I mean, asleep. All right, let's move. Okay, come on. Let's go visit Kenjo. I want to see him, or Kizaragi. Makari realized something due to the newly discovered clues on the fifth floor. Thanks to surveillance camera, it was hard to talk right now. So for now, let's spend time investigating as usual until Makaru calls us. Is it free time? I want to hang out with him. I want to hang out with Kizaragi. Oh, come, up, come to think of it, I also decided to talk to Kizaragi as well. Thinking of the same thing, Yuki. Before we investigate, I should properly talk to him if, if I can. We couldn't communicate well, but uh, he's still pretty, so I think he's still in the dormitories. Let's find him. Do do speedy boy, yeah. Do do do. <laughs> I love being so fast now. <laughs> this is awesome. Where is his? Oh, there he is. He's up there. <gasps> oh, Makako's with him too. Oh, whoa! I teleported. <laughs> oh, I found Kizaragi. Kizaragi, hey. Uh. Let's see what's going on here. Was that all? What was this room beforehand? Before it became Kizaragi's room? What the person with Kizaragi is? Kurokawa? She was awake? However, what's with this atmosphere? <laughs> Hiding behind the plant. Nice. Yamato ni! Ah, oh, Stata fan! Ray gives me Kirigiri vibes this chapter, so have hope. <laughs> I hope so, dude. I hope so, but she really is giving me so many uh, death flags, man. It's scaring me so bad. Thanks for uh, the donation, Stan. I hope you're doing well, by the way, too. Yamato ni! Oh, hello. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why? Why is Yamato ni is like that? I, I, yeah, she's totally like a cyborg. A lady. I guess I'm sick because I'm not feeling well. And you seem to be in the same status as I am. Your face turned blue and you're getting discolored. How did this happen? I don't know what voice to give him, dude. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna give him a Mimi voice for right now. Why? Ow! I see. You got many things to say here. You're also very excited too. I do, a lot of death flags are going everywhere with a lot of different characters. Cause I feel like Kenjo's got a death flag. Ray's got a death flag. Freaking Bakako's got a death flag. I feel like there's just a lot going on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I see, you got many things to say there. You're also very excited too. You wouldn't hear my adventure story. You wouldn't hear me out then. But I refuse. I can't tell you. Yamato, go. <laughs> what is he even saying, dude? <laughs> Until now, you were far away. I don't know what you're saying. Straight up. Use your mouth language. Is he like not? It doesn't really seem like he remembers her at all. I, I want to say Yamato-kun to you. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, no, she's bleeding again. You can see her eyes. D 
damn it. Yamato-kun. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> just go back to smiling. <laughs> he just looks like so head empty. Why Kurokawa? She's still in a bad shape, but Kurokawa's attitude towards Kizaragi is really fucking weird. It seems like some kind of relationship. But why am I hiding and eavesdropping? The purpose here was to talk to Kizaragi in the first place. Uh, was it, bro? Hey, Kizaragi! How's it going, bro? You! Yeah, he fucking hates me for some reason. Um, we met for a while in the morning, but hey, I'm, I'm Yuki. Remember that? You remember that? Hey, I want to talk to you. Yuki, mine up. It's this again. I haven't done anything, but Kizaragi stared at me fiercely. When I saw him talking with Kurokawa, he was normal. Well, as normal as he can be. It seems like I'm the exception. Why? Is it because I cheated on you with Kendo? I didn't realize. I didn't know, you know, we have our memories erased and stuff. Is that it? Because, I mean, I can apologize. Hey, take it easy. Why do you look so angry? I just want to greet you. You want to say hello? Uh, well, that's right. Please don't be angry all the time. I didn't do anything. It's a little sad to be the target of anger, you know? Yuki, Maida, aren't you a bad person? Huh? I'm a bad person? Why? Well, it's just kind of weird to call yourself good, but... I'm not a bad person either. Then you, are you really a good person? I mean, I think so. Bad, good, if we pick one. Personally, I think I'm nice. <laughs> good. Oh, a change of heart. Bright as light. More than previously. You say you're good. Manakume said that Kizaragi has a problem on his brain. Although the conversation is difficult to comprehend, it doesn't seem impossible at all. And Kizaragi seems to have loosened up the boundaries to see if he could listen to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's, this guy is so freaking weird, dude. <laughs> I do not understand him at all. I like originally was gonna give him like my catchy or like Midori voice, but like since he's so memey, I have no idea what voice to give him. I feel like I'm just changing it every time his personality changes. Yeah, level. He's just like you're a bad person, right, Yuki? And then I'm like, no, I'm not. And he's like, oh, good. I was worried. I thought I heard you're a bad person. Yeah, if I had done anything wrong, please tell me for sure. Don't be angry for no reason. I'll fix it somehow. You, Yuki Maida, no fault. That's it. Is it like that? Me misunderstood. <laughs> Turning into Ganta. Me misunderstood. <laughs> Misunderstanding. I heard that Kizaragi was a student who just entered in Hope Speak Academy as the ultimate adventure. So, you're a classmate. I said my greetings to you once. Well, they said you had a little problem, you know, in your brain. But since you are my friend, like everybody, tell me if there's anything difficult. I can help you. I mean, Mitch was my friend. I have no fucking standards, dude. And I'd like to talk to you, and I'd like you to talk to the others, too. Although there were more of us who are already gone. Yuki's so nice. Ah, uh, I see. All right. All good. Understand. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's so weird, dude. He was angry at first for no reason, so I thought it would be difficult to get close to each other. But it seems to have been a minor misunderstanding. It's still a bit complicated to talk, but... He seems to like me again. Makari says that Kizaragi is the most likely candidate to be the mastermind, but I don't feel that way as a result by talking directly. He's a good dude. Is it because of the brain damage? Or maybe he's acting like an innocent person? Either way, until Makaru calls us, I don't even know if he could lead this thing. He does not. He's so out of it, you know? I don't think he could be the mastermind. Oh gosh, Yuki simping, yeah. <laughs> it does kind of seem like he's simping. I mean, like... Yeah, literally. Like, Yuki, didn't you just meet this guy 10 seconds ago? He's like, he's handsome. He's brain dead. <laughs> My type. Himbo. Perfect. We have to keep investigating for now. I think it should be okay to know more about Kizaragi. You are now able to speak. Yay! Yay! You guys said that his were translated, right? I want to do his. I want to do his. Kizaragi, Kizaragi. Yes, queen. Come to think of it, this was originally a wall with nothing in it. And then one day... This became Kizaragi's private room. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember there being a door there. Well, maybe it was Monokuma's doing. It's not surprising that a new student arrives and you construct enough to make a new room. But how do you do it that quickly? I'm not surprised anymore. Well then, let's move! 
<gasps> Yay! Okay, can I get a hangout with you? Come on, bro, come out. <sighs> Where are you? Oh, hell yeah, there you are, perfect. Do I? I don't think I have, I have three medals, yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I didn't really think about buying gifts since I usually skip free time events, but hopefully, hopefully. Oh yay, it is, it is translated. Break, take off, wing sky is loud. Yuki is approaching. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> oh, it is touching. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of like a machine translated novel. I don't know if you guys read web novels, but like I'll read like a lot of web novels sometimes online. And sometimes you have like machine translated ones where basically people like they don't actually translate the novel. They just kind of put it through Google Translate. That's what this guy is. He's just like a walking like a walking machine translation. Break. Take off wing sky. Is loud? Yuki approaching me? Oh, it is touching. <laughs> like, it literally makes me reminds me of some novels I read and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> No idea. Sure, yeah, let's, let's hang out, dude. Oh, want to play? Then I'll be your opponent. Is that it? Playing. I'll do it. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about, dude? Oh, this is gonna be like incoherent rambling. I somehow had a conversation with Kizaragi, who was difficult to understand. I think my relationship with Kizaragi has improved a little. Would you like to give him a gift? I don't think I have anything. Me, no gift. You, Yuki. Me sad, Yuki, no give gift. Mina, me Ida. Strange name, Yuki, me Ida. Me Ida. Blah, blah, blah. It, it's not that strange, it's pretty ordinary. More importantly, Kizaragi, I want to ask you something. Ask. I love his little sprites, too. Oh, hit me with anything, bro. Kizaragi, where are you from? Monokuma said you're a transfer student, but the school is completely disconnected from the outside world. Do you know about the current situation at all? Monokuma is a terrible criminal. He's kidnapped and forced us to kill each other. I know. Huh? It feels like we're in an amusement park. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's so out of it. Now, he... I know I always joked about Sasuke not knowing we're in a killing game, but he really does not know we're in a killing game. He really doesn't know. It feels like we're in an amusement park. I feel like I'm dreaming. My room is really cool, right? Right? What the fuck? It seems like Kizaragi was serious there for a moment. Was I just imagining things? But Yuji Maida, you... Yuko, was it? Huh, should it be like that? Completely unconventional? <laughs> yeah. What? My name is Yuki! More importantly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Calm down and say it slow. Kuro or Shiro? It's like not getting my name at all. I wonder if it's... Come to think of it, yes, that girl. I'm curious about the status of that student. An outburst. I have no idea what he's fucking saying anymore, but if I lead the conversation, simple communication like a yes or a no might be possible, but it's impossible for anything more. Yeah, let's just do yes or no questions. <laughs> he does not need, he cannot handle anything more. Thinking, speaking of Makako, wait, do you know Makako Kurokawa? She seems to know you. Oh, Makako, of course, I know her. About her, I seem to. He really does talk like Google Translate. Like, I literally have no idea what the fuck he's saying. Bro, I just wanted you to say yes or no. Just yes or no. What are you going on about? Makako, of course, I knew. About her? I seem to be. However, remember? Much? I don't seem to. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> so wait, so wait. Do you know her or not? Okay. What were you saying about Makako? So what you're saying about Makako is that you know her, but you can't remember much. Yes, no, no, yes, that's it, <laughs> yeah. No, that, that is not it. That's not it? Something more will be different. A problem. A wooga! <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. Kizaragi, what is it? He's definitely like a cyborg or something too. Something like rubbing in your eye, stinging, excruciating, violent pain. Oh, physical condition. Decline. Can it improve? Oh, so like a mal- He's just fucking malfunctioning, dude. You have a headache? Yes, it's in the chat. Don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> this is why you don't do drugs. Oh, yeah? If only Satsuki, Satsuki was here to translate this. She's the only one. <laughs> the only one who could understand. Oh, man. I think I understood the Korean more than this guy. 
You have a headache similar to Makako? Makako, Kurokawa. Does that not matter? Don't put words in your mouth. The moment you put it in your mouth, the intensifying pain comes like a wave. Wait, wait. Can they not talk about each other? There might be something built into their AI to where they can't talk about each other, and that's why they start, like, I don't know, like, malfunctioning every time they mention each other. This is the first time we've seen him, like, have the static and stuff, too. I feel like it usually happens, yeah, with Makako when she's talking about, um, talking about him. I think for the most part. Oh, it hurts. Yamato going to spend time. Oh, no, now he's crying. Okay, there's definitely something with that, though. I feel like it's gonna be hard to decode what he's actually saying, but I think we can get, like... More information about the story from these free time events. We're trying to just like sit down and really analyze this. Oh, it hurts. Yamato going to spend time lying down and spin break in bed. Okay, bestie. <laughs> Have fun with that. Kizaragi complained about his headache and returned to his room. Uh, Kizaragi seems to have some kind of connection to Makako. They complained about similar headaches. I can't deny that something is suspicious about it. The record of Yamato Kizaragi has been updated in the electronic student handbook. It's getting late. I decided to return to my room. I was funny it out with him though. <laughs> He's such a fucking trip, dude. Phew, it's evening already. Another day goes by like this. It was just yesterday when our spirit rised up. And it was yesterday when Haruhiko and Satsuki died. What do you mean, Yuki? That, that did not happen. Um, I'm going to be editing out that sentence uh, for future reference because that didn't happen. I don't know why Yuki is spreading lies. It's only been a single day, but it felt like a long time ago that they moved to Mexico together. We have to get out of here for my dead, for my friends who are alive in Mexico. <laughs> oh, one moment. Makaru. And come to my room a little later once the nighttime announcement goes off. I feel like Monokuma is going to get, like, uh, too suspicious of us if we keep going to her room specifically. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Oh, you're here to call me? Okay. She goes right back without adding anything else. Probably because we're conscious of the camera. There is nothing to lose, at least by following Makaru's words. <clears throat> Hi, it's a school announcement! It's 10 p.m., so go to fucking bed! There's no food either, so don't even try that shit. <laughs> Monaco is getting really uh, mean with his announcements. He's getting really uh, blunt. Everyone's gathered, Ray-chan. Yeah, I'll say it again and again, but we can't stay for long. So you better open your ears and listen carefully, as I will only talk about what is absolutely necessary and leave swiftly. <laughs> Can you repeat that, Ray? I don't, I don't think I really understand. Just shut up and listen, okay? Don't you say you found- didn't you say you found out something when we reported the investigation? If we look at what we couldn't say in the dining room, is it so important that it's dangerous if the mastermind hears it? Did you find out who the mastermind is? No, it's nothing like that. Rachan, then why? You seem to be taken by surprise back then. Jeez, it's a little serious that you guys haven't got on. Aw, oh, she's so cute. I love you, Ray. Hearts. Makaru? Just listen for a moment. I love that sprite of her. She looks so nice. Just listen for a moment. There are two things I found out. Of course, I'm not sure of this. It's just my guess anyways. But the chances are high on this. First, do you all remember what I said this morning? What do you mean? A significant amount of time passed since we entered Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. We don't remember it. You mean this hypothesis. Ah, I remember. I thought Ray-chan was trying to drive Makako-chan away. Of course, I had that intention, but before I could explain it properly, Monokuma brought that transfer student and it ended abruptly. That we lost our memories. Maybe this isn't a hypothesis, but the truth! No way. Even so, the fact that all 15 of us had amnesia is such an absurd story, right? Shut up and listen first. God freaking dang it, Daria. Don't interrupt me, you dumb gay Teletubby. I'll explain it methodically. As Makari said that, she took a piece of paper out of her pocket. This paper is... It's the summary of the questions I've been asking since we've been here. Nothing special. So far, so thoroughly. Yeah, unlike us, you're very thoughtful. You actually have a brain, unlike us. I don't even know where I'm at right now. 
First, it was right after Kinji Uihara's execution ended, when I began to suspect about amnesia. Most likely when Maida and I spoke about this topic. Oh, you mean when the fourth floor just opened? I'm sorry, but even up to that time, I thought Makaru was testing me out again, and I couldn't really believe it. It was around that time. Yeah, she was being honest then, too. But as more and more fitting clues kept coming out, I changed my mind. Remember what I talked about with Maida back then? Remember the video Monokuma showed us right before Uihara's execution? The horrible video of the children's corpses of all of them in Mexico, guys! Why, why are we lying about this? Okay, I'll stop with that. I'll stop with that joke. The horrible video of the children's corpses, is that the one you're talking about? It's not enough to kill a person, and it's not enough to leave them rotting. How cruel is it? How cruel is this Monokuma? Pretty freaking awful, dude. Yes, they were decayed. That's where I first got my doubts. Louis Hara said that after we fainted, he woke, he woke up earlier than us and met face to face with Monokuma. At that time, the priest identified the children being hostage by Monokuma and even spoke to those kids directly. This was the day of the entrance ceremony. It must have been about two weeks ago. It would... so... well... I feel like if Monokuma killed him right after that, they could be decaying by that point, but it's kind of hard to know. Dara, I hate you so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Mishy News? No! No! I hate it! No! Oh my god! Hey guys, Mitchy News here. I love Mitch. <laughs> Caught me with a Mitch hair. No. <laughs> Why? That's so cursed. Jail. Jail. Oh god. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Darn. Oh my god, these edits. Thanks <laughs> for the donation. <laughs> Even though I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish I never had to see that. <laughs> I think Dara is the mastermind. I think I'm gonna say that. Tara's the mastermind. I'm calling it now. Oh god. Oh gosh, I need some water after that, man. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. We stand Mitchy News. <laughs> the only time you'll see me standing Mitch is when <laughs> is when it's Mitchy news. Oh my god. Uehara was executed. I mean, even if the children were killed right after talking to Uehara. I mean, if it's only been two weeks since they died, then there's a problem. Is it possible for a person to rot so fast and turn into a skeleton for only two weeks? Only if they see the Mitchy news profile picture. <laughs> That's the only time. That's the only time they can rot so fast. Huh, test question? I don't know. I can't think straight. Uh, same goes for me. If we look at X and O, uh, if we divide the two and combine a three, oh my god, you guys. I can't be sure since it was filmed, but if I'm right, the answer becomes impossible. If it wasn't artificially tampered with or in a really specific environment, then naturally... At this time, the things that I have been wondering about. We found the notice in the library. I can't stop thinking about the stupid edit. Oh gosh. The library at Hofstie Academy was due to be closed in our group photo of us that Midas saw in the art room. Connecting these two, it was the first time that I thought of the possibility of amnesia. Unbelievable. Then what next? Well, I wasn't sure at that time, so I kept it as a hypothesis. But when I heard Satsuki's last words yesterday, I started thinking about it again. Oh yeah, Satsuki, best girl. Oh, maybe. You mean the picture Hari discovered mentioned by Satsuki? That's right. This is really speculation, but if we already met before, wouldn't our bodies react first, even if we don't remember? Like looking at a picture of your lover. Okay. You mean before we lost our memories, Koba Shikawa and Satsuki Chan were lovers? I know! They were so cute! Don't take it seriously because this is all but a guess at this stage. The reason I think this way is because it's almost impossible to give up your life for the sake of someone you met here. No matter how good or natural the relationship was. Oh, thank you, Makako Kurakawa. I offer an exorcism for what, you, for what you've seen. Thank you! 
Ah, uh, thank you. I need, I need to be exercised after seeing that. That was so cursed. I appreciate the donation and the exorcism. Thank you. Bless. Oh man. For the sake of someone you met here, no matter how good or natural their relationship was, thinking about that picture, Harihiko's head vaguely recognized his old memories. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm looking down at their spirit of sacrifice between the two. Something is weird. I didn't expect such a romantic comic coming from Makaru. Ah, <laughs> I shipped them too. It's not like that, you idiot. This is something that needs to be scientifically explained. In the case of the momentary amnesia, by showing clues such as the flashbacks of old memories or hypnosis. Okay, okay, I was wrong. You don't ship them. Okay, but we know we know for real how you feel, Ray. We know for real. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Calm down and explain everything again. Anyways, it was something like that. Another clue was the newspaper article that Maida and Tyra found this morning. You mean the newspaper clippings with that date in the future? Indeed, it's the future from our point of view. However, if we substitute it from amnesia here, we can still see it can we still see it from the future? Having to explain it to us super in detail. Do you guys understand now? Wait, it's been quite some time since we entered Hope's Peak Academy. If it's been months, not week, not three weeks only, the date of the newspaper is usually when the new semester begins. It becomes the past! No way! It's a newspaper that has been there for a while, but no, that doesn't make sense. It must have been a time machine. Do you think the faucet comes into play, Ray? Oh my god, Yuki, please, did not go back to that. No, but can you look at a newspaper's content recklessly pushing the amnesia theory? Are you saying this absurd thing really happened? Anyone can tell it's a manipulation. I don't know if it just seems so obvious to me because of like, uh, I don't know, because I've already played Danganronpa 1, but it's just kind of funny how like she's explaining it so hardcore. I'd rather give more credit for this impossible thing though. Uh, how? Think about it. Is there anything that has not happened since we gathered here? In the beginning, our situation itself became dangerous from the time, from the get-go. That's... I can't... Ob that's... I can't object to it. And was it the biggest, most desperate event in human history? I've read the article, slowly, and it's no exaggeration to say that the world has been destroyed. <laughs> the world has been destroyed? Impossible! No, it's not the way, way, it's not the way over, it's not way, wait, no, it's not way over the end of the world. I think it's at least enough to cause the collapse of human society itself. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world, just the collapse of human society. So calm down, you guys, but there's no difference. No, even if I think carefully, it's beyond a realm of speculation. This is a joke, the world coming to an end? That literally can't happen. You brainless fool. That's just your own opinion. The world we live isn't as perfect as we might think. No one knows when it will suddenly collapse for certainty. In the end, the Earth has already experienced hundreds of crises that could lead to nuclear war. war. The fact that society is being maintained like this is fortunate enough to surpass first place in a lottery. Even so, if that's true, if the world is doomed, then I don't see a reason to leave this school anymore. How are we supposed to live when you tell me that the world is just gone? Teruya, don't be so discouraged. As I keep saying, this is all but a guess at this point, but also one with a very high probability. She's so smart, dude. The biggest and most desperate event in human history. Actually, we may already know. What is supposed to be the aftermath of this? What are you talking about? The motive Monokuma showed us before Maki died. I don't know if each of you have seen it, but if the article on this newspaper is true, wouldn't it also explain the video? Oh no, we're gonna bring this back. I wonder if people are gonna like start uh, despairing again, thinking about the video. Cause they all seem so convinced, you know, that uh, whatchamacallit, like, oh no, it must be a manipulation by Monokuma. No guys, of course. Oh, thank you, 10 Lives Gaming. Thanks for the donation. Chapter 5. I can't believe we're already here. I know! We're so close to the end. It's insane. Thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. And thanks for uh, watching the stream. If that video, it's really true, then my family is already... Yeah. Uh, this isn't going to be good for morale, huh? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
Actually, Hitano and Higa's words just added more credibility. The FIFA headquarters were attacked, the land being destroyed so much that was impossible to run anymore. Wouldn't this match what this article says? To sum it all up, after entering Hope Speak Academy and spending a normal school life. Meanwhile, the biggest and most desperate event in human history occurred. Somehow we survived, with our memories removed by someone, and then we suspected each other in a place we didn't even recognize. That is what happened. Such a thing? I can't, I can't believe it! But after listening to Ray-Chan, I wonder if it's alright to say that everything was true! Then the article that said that Hope's Peak Academy was the epicenter of the incident. We who are the students of this academy have nothing to do with it all. But then why? Why us? Why are we the only ones in Hope Speak Academy? What happened to the other students? Are we really the only ones alive like this? Yeah, it is really interesting to kind of get all this information in the fifth chapter. It does definitely make me think that uh, we're gonna get a lot more uh, stuff to, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it like contradict would be the right word, but just like, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, be different than what happened in Danganronpa 1, because this is also similar to Danganronpa 1 so far. Don't get angry at me, you fool, because this isn't confirmed yet. Rei is such a girl boss that she figured all this out a chapter earlier than Kirigiri did. What a girl boss. Well, I don't know the details, but I can't think of, but I can think of one reason why we are in this predicament. Of the 15 of us, no, isn't it because the mastermind is among the 16? So that's the idea. Are you still doubting Makako-chan and Kizaragi-kun? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Oh, that's shocking. How huh, then, what other option is there? In the morning, you are suspicious of Kurokawa. And Kizaragi, oh no, she's gonna point at me. It's you, it can only be you. If it's not, if it's not that, other than those two, then who the heck is it? Someone in this room. Don't make a fuss and listen first. This is not yet certain. This is not yet certain, let alone conjecture. This is just my own imagination. We just said that our memories have been erased, right? But what if... Yeah, the mastermind is in the same state. And that really makes me think it's Yuki then. Wh what do you mean, Makaru? Are you saying the mastermind erased their own memory? Only if. It's just one possibility. But if that really were to be true, then it won't matter who the mastermind is. It could be anyone. It could be Maida. It could be Tyra. It could be Otori, but it's most likely Maida. <laughs> or maybe it's me who's saying this. Ah, oh, shit. Ah! Oh, shit! I don't want to approach this line of thinking, but it's not good to lie at a partnership, so... I'll be honest with you. I'm afraid. Aw, even Ray. If this hypothesis were to be true, and if I were the mastermind, the more I dig, the more I'll deny my existence, the more they'll deny their existence. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Makaru, for the first time we met, trembled slightly and showed her own weakness. Aww. Self-denial of her own existence. It would be a self-destruction self for Makaru, who values perfection the most. Oh, man. Ray-chan, that'd be pretty crazy if Ray was the mastermind. I'm sorry. I said that I could come along if we're to catch the mastermind, but... Suddenly it ended up like this. After the hypothesis of the amnesia, I came up with this theory while thinking about the mastermind. Since then, I've gotten a terrible chill on my spine and became mentally exhausted. This appearance doesn't fit me at all. Not to me. So forget about that for now. Please, erase it from your memory. Makaru, you must be a human too, I think. I'd be afraid of myself too if I had that feeling. Stupid! I just paused for a moment to tell you to forget it! Our goals still don't change, so I know. <laughs> what did I just say? Makaru shouted in embarrassment. It took just a moment to catch her breath, then looked down at the paper and spoke again. Ah, I can't wait to do Makaru's free time events. I bet they're gonna be cute. It's just one of the numerous cases. I think it's unlikely, so let's put this issue aside for now. Wait, you've been suspicious of Kurokawa and Kizaragi all this time. So why did it make your... Why did it make you think suddenly? So what made you think suddenly about this? To be honest, it was simply by process of elimination. That made me doubt them. I felt like there was something unconventional about the two of them being the mastermind. 
That's too predictable, you know? It's gotta be a plot twist somewhere in there. Come on, guys. What if that unpretentious, unpretentious appearance is not the acting of the mastermind? What if you really don't know that you are the mastermind? What if you don't know your true self? If that's the case, then we don't even realize that we could be the mastermind. If that's true, it's impossible to know the mastermind's true nature. That'd be so hard to deal with like a mastermind whose memory was actually erased. Like, oh, I would feel so bad. Yes, but it's because it's like, you know, you've been with them this whole time. But then they're also the one who put you in the situation in the first part, like first place. Like, ah, that'd be crazy. Yes, but it's unlikely to do that. If you erase your own memory in the first place, even as the mastermind, it'll be impossible to do any follow-up. There would be no plan or anything at all. They would have only one chance. If the mastermind is someone who's good at acting, then even those with their unpretentious appearance could be acting as well. They would be considered a huge smokescreen for all we know. Hey, if that's the case, wouldn't it be more realistic to conclude that there is no mastermind among us? Kurokawa is suspicious, and we suspect them because of Kizaragi's existence. Conversely, there's no guarantee that the mastermind is always among us. If we are all victims and an, unify and an un unidentified third party is the mastermind, then Makari's doubts would be resolved? If in the beginning, freaking Yuki, he's just trying to be positive, you know. If in the beginning the mastermind was the cause of the biggest and most desperate event in human history, it would mean that one of the it would mean that one of us committed such a world-class terrorism. Well, I honestly agree with that. It doesn't make sense for one high school student to change the world. If you haven't met Junko Inoshima yet, baby. But if I were to put your words backwards, there's no guarantee that the mastermind in our situation will be the same person as the mastermind who caused this human history. That's true as well. I know another Among Us. I was thinking that too. Right, but that's... Akane. Still, I agree with Maida-kun. It's hard to believe that there's a mastermind among us. No matter what we faced, I'm just gonna go into denial like Weeby is with all the characters' deaths. And there's the issue of controlling Monokuma, too. Just as Maida said, there's no guarantee. Fine. But I'm just thinking of every possible outcome. Always try to think that there's a mastermind... There's a mastermind mixed with us. To be honest, everything we've said so far is so vague that it doesn't feel real at all, but... Right! Even if it's true in theory, artificially erasing the memories of all of us, such a thing is practically impossible. Not entirely unreasonable. When you think about the Kizaragi Foundation's scientific power... <gasps> what is it? Didn't I say that I found out two things? One was about the amnesia we just spoke. And the other one is the information about the Kizaragi Foundation. Okay. Man, so much info dump in this. <laughs> Have to rewatch some of these for later. A, while, a little while ago, you said something about the scientific power of the Kizaragi Foundation. I literally said it, right? It's no exaggeration to say that the Kizaragi Foundation is already half a century ahead of the cutting edge science. Half a century? Jesus. There are rumors that they are actually providing manpower to the US side. Although they're not from a reliable source. The Kizaragi Foundation can manipulate a human's of memories? It wouldn't be impossible. So they're definitely working with the Mastermind. I'm trying to think too, like, uh, so hypothetically, I guess like Yuki is my biggest suspect for the Mastermind at this point. So I'm thinking like hypothetically, if Yuki is the Mastermind, like, it's kind of like Ray was saying, you would have to plan it out for it to like all work perfectly with your memories being wiped. You know what I mean? It's like, how would you do that? You would get somebody else, I think, to like look over it. Like you would have a partner, right? So I'm thinking like Yuki is the mastermind and like Mikako and Kizaragi are like meant to kind of like make sure everything runs well while he's enjoying the killing game or, you know, enjoying it. But it's like, there has to be a reason why he would want to wipe his memories too. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It's just a thought. It wouldn't be impossible. Is one of the reason is one of the reasons why I initially thought that the mastermind was among us. Among us. Is there really a need for someone to control Monokuma? Because so far, it has moved on its own. It's like, I guess if they make in a well, actually, so it would have to be okay, Kizaragi I definitely think is like working with, you know, the mastermind. Because that would explain Monokuma, right? Because they could just make an AI and then uh Monokuma watches over all the students as long as he's, you know, perfect. <laughs> the perfect AI. But, um, yeah, I think that would make sense. 
so they've just been working with Kizaragi. Do they just, like, wipe his memory? Or maybe they tested, like, the uh, memory wiping stuff on Kizaragi. And maybe that's why his brain's so messed up? <laughs> I think that might make sense. I don't know. I'm just kind of, you know, thinking here. What Monokuma did? Actually, it's not a dream to create a Monokuma-type artificial intelligence robots with the skills of the Kizaragi Foundation. The humanoid theory has already been completed. That's incredible, but Makaru, he didn't treat Monokuma as an AI. When they were back then, were here back then. At the time, I didn't know that the Kizaragi Foundation was deeply involved. But this hypothesis is also absurd, because that level of AI has already reached the level of human beings. Jesus. <laughs> the Kizaragi Foundation? What is it? Why is the Kizaragi Foundation involved with Hope Speak Academy? Certainly, that is the important question. And the Kizaragi Foundation's mark was on the fifth floor collection room and in the ballroom. Definitely, definitely colluding together. About that, listen carefully to what I have to say from now on because it'll be very shocking. I think like, ah, it was like, yeah, they had the Kizaragi stuff in that one room. So they were the president of like the Kizaragi business though, right? Not like Hope's Peak. Cause Yuki is like the ultimate lucky student, right? But I'm trying to think, I'm like, could he be related to like the headmaster or something? I was like, I don't think it said they were the headmaster, right? Just that they were like the president of the Kizaragi plan or whatever. <laughs> About that, listen carefully to what I have to say from now on because it'll be very shocking. Oh no, more plot twists? I can't take any more. Uh, Why did you lower your voice? It's about what I found out about the Kizaragi Foundation. That is... Uh, oh, god dang it. Oh my goodness! I'm here to block you guys! Huh? What are you guys doing in Makaru's room? Having a secret meeting? Why did you invite the best boys, Kizaragi and uh, Kinjo? Uh, Monokuma, seriously, stop appearing out of nowhere. God freaking dang it. I want to know what she was going to say. What do you mean out of nowhere? I figured maybe she took like the evidence she found and like hid it somewhere. It seems like Monokuma's kind of listening in on us anyways. If he showed up at this like perfect timing. I fixed the cameras or whatever. What do you mean out of nowhere? More than that, I can see in this surveillance camera again. What's wrong with this? Okay, yeah. Wasn't it always like that? Leave it. Did Monokuma catch a strange thing? Not once, but twice now. Okay, so that's what it was. Hey, it's nighttime already, and you don't even sleep in Makaru's room. You guys, I won't hesitate. What? We haven't done anything bad. Yeah, for real, it's not against the rules, Monokuma. Get lost, loser. Isn't it just a strange thing that there's two males and two females? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I love that. <laughs> As you should, dude. If he would have tried that shit that he did to Yuki and Ray, she would have kicked his ass, man. Tried to show Maki's body to Ray, she would not have put up with it. And I love her for that. Oh, Dara. Oh, Dara, you don't know what you just did. <laughs> I cannot wait to see Maki's reaction to that. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, everyone's favorite, Kiyoka Michki. <laughs> oh my god. That's awful. <laughs> Are you ready for a rebrand, uh, Modki? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> but I do, I gotta say, I love Ray girl bossing right now. Yeah, it was a joke. Seriously, the surveillance camera doesn't seem to work. So I'm just here to check it out. <laughs> Can I ban Dara? <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why are you checking with us that your management is poor? What do you know about surveillance cameras? We're not even going to sleep. We're just gathering to chat here. So yeah, fuck off. So hurry and get the fuck out. Hmm, is it really poor management? Always! In my vivid mind, I think that you must have done something to the camera! Oh no! Oh, that would suck if she died from uh, Monokuma finding out that she messed with the cameras. Because I think he technically could do that. You know, right? 
If that is true, you're guilty of damaging the diva, 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 diva. Is he shutting down? Hell yeah, yes! He really did fuck off! Finally, he finally listened to us. What, Monokuma? Monokuma, who is using a usually strange way to speak, it became slightly different. It became a slightly different mood than usual, and then suddenly it stopped as if it died. Why did it stop speaking? Monokuma, what are you doing? Hey, hold on. This is somehow similar to back then. Why did he shut down then again? I can't remember. When? When Uihara's execution was over, Makako Kurakawa went down the secret stairs, saying that Monokuma stopped. Yeah. Huh? Does that mean the school is still closed? What's wrong with it? It's not even a computer before crashing. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> it might be something like that. I was just fucking with you guys. You think? You thought I powered down again? Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. Oh, it's back. Damn it. Whoa, 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 what? My body's movements are getting dull. Oh no, it's not the movement that's dull. What? It can't be. This is not at all move. My body doesn't move. Oh, really? 11 seconds has passed. It seems that there is enough time to move. Not, what are you doing, Monokuma? Oh, wait, the system is a little bit. The camera isn't the problem now. Gah, I'm gonna do a quick checkup. Oh, thank God. Ah, uh, somebody protecting, uh, girl boss Ray. It's gone. What was that? Ah, uh, I really could see Ray getting, like, a punishment, though, for, like, messing with the cameras. Uh, I hope not, but that is, like, against the rules, right? I feel like he probably could, like, uh, execute her for that. According to, like, his own rules, you know? It's gone. What was that? Leave it alone, because we can't afford to worry about Monokuma. Also, I'd rather call it off for today. Uh, but we haven't heard the second fact about that Ray-chan found out yet. I really want to hear that before you die. <laughs> I'll tell you about that tomorrow, after I wander around at night by myself with no, with no protection. As you may have seen before, Monokuma is slowly starting to notice the anomalies in my room. I'll come up with other measures soon. So go back for now. <sighs> She's protecting us. She's like really risking herself like so hard for this too. <sighs> Let's do as Makari suggests, guys. It's already been, it's already late anyways, so we'll have to go to bed early for tomorrow. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll be able to sleep much because of the story about my current memory loss. Well, I'll be going now. I'm gonna stare at my ceiling all night. She always looks at the teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's the uh, jammer for the camera. Go get to bed and sleep with the switch off. Right. But why a teddy bear? It, it's Mr. Knuckles, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me, I've had him since he's a baby. Stop worrying and go to sleep already. Ah, oh, she does love the teddy bear, huh? You sleep with it every night. It's okay, you can tell me. And then we decided to go to bed at Makari's proposal. Let's go back to my room. <laughs> oh man. I am nervous for this chapter though. What was this again? Freaking A, dude. You're going too fast now, Yuki. Oh, it's in Korean, yay. Oh, yes, oh yes, just like this is a piece of paper. Also, Kenji is alive. Isn't that so great, Weeby? And Kenjo's not gonna die, ever. He's also never done anything wrong in his life. <laughs> so that's cool. I wonder what that says, it seemed kind of important. Oh, fun fact, Ray likes teddy bears. Oh, is that like in her uh, likes and dislikes? Oh, that's so cute. Ah, that's adorable. I lay in my bed, but I can't sleep at all. If Makari's story is true, all of us, we already spent time in Hope's Peak. If we lost our memories... Oh, man. Oh, no. I hate seeing them. Uh, we ended up killing each other. Our own friends who, used to, who we used to go to school with together. Man, that can't be. We were all amnesiacs. Makari said it was a guess, an unlikely story. As I as to convince myself and try, I tried to fall asleep. You have a despair dream. You remember how much you love despair, Mida? Oh, good times. Despair. Oh yeah, here we go. So, what are you going to do next? Hey, to think you've been against all your classmates that way. 
It's pretty desperate, or isn't it? Then I'll leave you with what I've been thinking about before. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, the details are over. I mean, it's annoying. Do not worry, I'll be watching. Even if I said that, I can't say for sure because it's not important right now. By the way, do you know, as long as you keep deciding, the more you will end up dead. Ha! Did you want me to worry about you? Even your own existence won't interfere with the plan. So get rid of the useless flattery. It's like somebody he's working with, maybe? Yuki's so sus, dude. <laughs> so what do you think? Are you in despair now? No fun, guy. <laughs> Whatever. From now on, you'll be the king over there. Do a good job. <laughs> I don't know, dude. There's definitely something fucked up with Yuki, though. <laughs> he's definitely, like, some kind of a... Uh... Mastermind, working with the mastermind, something or another. Uh, it kind of seemed like he was the mastermind's bitch. <laughs> Based off of that, like, <laughs> so you're gonna go and do the killing game, Yuki, and get your memories erased, and <laughs> not me. I could never, that won't be me. Yeah, I don't know. Is it morning? Ow, my head, oh no, I'm a robot too. Headache, I slept the wrong way. Yeah, that's it, <laughs> that's it. I think I had a strange dream, but I can't remember properly because of the headache. Hello, you guys! It's morning! Wake up! Let's have fun today! I wonder where we're gonna get our motive. Just in time, the morning announcement. I should go have breakfast with the others. Doo -doo. I wanna see Kenjo. Oh, hey! Kitsuragi's here, at least! <laughs> Everybody's so awkward. <laughs> Why is he here? Like, don't want to see him here. <laughs> you guys all look like Kizaragi right now. Head empty. <laughs> oh, God. Breakfast time as usual. There were only four of us, even with Makaru. But with that aside, it was quieter than usual. It goes without saying. Even if we try to have a conversation to find something to fight the mastermind, you'll expose it to them due to the surveillance camera. Besides that, everyone seemed to have a lot to think about um, last night because of Makari's conclusion. Most crucially, it's because of the current dining room had a mix of a disparate character in addition to the four of us. What's that, my homie? Oh, he's sitting so far away from us. <laughs> oh my god. He's such a dumbass. He's like the biggest himbo I've ever seen. Oh, this is a lot, this food. It is. Did you make all of this? Intermediate taste of the new world. And the old world, but the woman dancing the tango. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, Yamato is the motive, my bad. I forgot about that. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh gosh. Thanks for the uh, donation, uh, Akira. <laughs> I kind of forgot. I was like, he hasn't really done much to get us to kill though so far. <laughs> but we'll see. Akioka Michiki Dara, sus among us. What the fuck is that, Dara? Another Mitch edit? <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks for the donation, Dara. Sus Among Us. We gotta have an Among Us Mitch edit. <laughs> oh man. The old world. The woman dancing the tango of the Iberian Peninsula is familiar. Like, what is he, what is he talking about? Oh my god, did you do a Monica <laughs> edit? What is that? Makako Kurakawa. Dara inspired me. <laughs> Wait, okay. The Monica mixed with, uh, oh my god, mixed with Modki. Oh no, Modki's not gonna like that. <laughs> not gonna like that. Oh, it was bitch. That's what it is. Sus Among Us fixed. <laughs> okay, there it is, bitch. Uh, how can I forget about bitch? Mitch's evil twin hiding amongst the, uh, hiding amongst the students. The, uh, 17th student. Kizaragi, he's just, he's just a deflection, okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh man, thanks for the donations and the, uh, the cursed edits. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh god, what are you talking about, Kizaragi, dude? Is he okay? Why is this crazy guy with me? The taste of the food is getting worse. I'm gonna stop eating. Oh man. Makaru, no matter how harsh, you can't... What's wrong? If I don't tell you what I think of him, you already know. Well, Makaru already suspected Kizaragi. <laughs> Weavy doesn't even know Mitch Lord. <laughs> I'm dead. Exposed. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I gotta catch up on my Mitch lore. <laughs> I've been slacking. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Makari already suspected Kizaragi more than anyone of being the mastermind. Hey, but have we spoke to him? He's been only saying meaningless stuff for no reason. I tried talking with him yesterday, but I didn't understand anything he was saying. It's just as Monokuma said, I think there's something wrong with his head. But even putting that aside, I don't think Kiz Kizuragi-kun is so arrogant. It's not about being good or bad. Don't you know what I want to say? Do I really need to say it openly right here, right now? Uh, Makaru, lower your voice! He can hear it all! <laughs> head empty. Whether they listen or not, he's disabled anyways. So what do I care? He literally does not know what's going on at all. Makaru, you've been rather fierce this morning. Oh, yay! Finally! Where's Kenjo, though? Oh my god, I'm not gonna see him the whole chapter. And I put him in the thumbnail, too. It's so sad. Mikako-chan, are you out of your mind? Are you okay? You're pouring out blood and your face all over. All right, yesterday Kurokawa came to her senses for a brief moment. Except for me and Kizaragi, nobody knows. I forgot about it. I'm okay. Uh... Can she even, like, look at him <laughs> without self-destructing? It's all well and good, but why are you here? Do you still think you're in a cooperative relationship with us? You're obviously hiding something. Until you tell the truth, you won't be in the clear. Sit on the sit on the uh, the forsaken side with Kizaragi. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'll just eat and I'll get out. Aw. Wait, wait a minute. There's no need to push it this far. Makako chan, it's okay, so there are certain facts that only she knows. Those might be decisive keys to change this. Oh, don't worry, Weeby. If you can progress on one more day, you might see Kenjo. Might. <laughs> Maybe. Someday. One day I'll see him. Man, I'm not gonna see him, but then he's... I'm, like, barely gonna see him for, like, half a second. Then he's gonna fucking die, isn't he? Oh, this is so sad. Those might be decisive keys to change this frustrating situation. I wanna see him again. I hope he's okay. He hasn't eaten in, like, three days. Oh, God. And just, or maybe, I guess it's been like one day, actually. It just feels like it's been longer. I guess we'll see. Frustrating situation, and just want to move on like this. Makaru. I'm sorry, but I also agree with Makaru's opinions. If you're hiding something, the honest thing to do would be to say it. So why can't you say it? I think she's, like, programmed to not say it. Um, It's okay. I don't have to fight. You don't have to fight for me. Everyone, just do what you've always done. Oh, oh no, she is going to the the forsaken side. Yama, oh here he goes. Now she's gonna now she's gonna self destruct. Huh? Makako-chan. Uh, here we go. I can't fucking take this any longer. What is going on between you two? Same here, Ray. Oh my god. Even at this moment, you're saying you're going to keep your mouth shut and stay away from us while casting suspiciousness all over the fucking place, dude. Stop playing around. You are treating us like fools. Ah, shit. Oh my god. I'm kind of surprised for Makara to suddenly do an outburst like that. Ugh. Another headache. What's the deal with those? What is your relationship with the Kizaragi Foundation? How did you know that if Monokuma stops, this facility would shut down? Um, I mean, like, I feel bad. I do agree with Rei, because, like, I want to know it too, but I feel bad because I don't think that she can say it. I'm sorry. I, I can't answer. Why can't you fucking answer? I can't answer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Then you're putting all aside... Then you're putting it all aside and say that you are the mastermind. Can you really do that? Huh? Uh, Makaru, calm down. Why are you suddenly getting so heated up? Ugh. Kurokawa, I know this is painful, but I'll have to ask you if you know something. Tell us, please. I can't. Oh no, it's gonna freaking shut down again. Is it because Kurokawa doesn't want to talk? Or is it because you really don't know anything? It's not that. You can't say it, you guys. Don't you hear the robot noises? Then why? I'm not asking you to tell me what you know. I'm asking, why can't you tell us? Oh, no. She's bleeding again. Don't come near me. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Look what you guys did. 
Hey, Makako Kurakawa, why are you running away? Is she gonna go Oh no, oh shit, she's going after her! Oh shit, she's fast as fuck! She's even faster than me! Makaru! What? Why did things turn out like this all of a sudden? It's the first time I've ever seen Kurakawa act like that! And Makaru too! What is going on? We have to follow them first! Only I'm fast enough to go get them. I freaking like his Ragi's just like in the corner like <laughs> brain dead. Makaru! Head empty. She went into her room and get the hell out of here. I got a bone to pick with you. It's, it's time to pop and lock out our, our frustrations. I challenge you to a dance off, Makako. Starts popping and locking again. Uh, she's back to doing that. Ray-chan, why are you so angry? Nothing will change with getting mad at Makako-chan. Ray-chan would be aware of this. Of course I know, and I also know that this isn't like me. But I'm more curious of you guys. Who can be so calm in a situation like right now? What are you trying to say? I'll call you later at night. Until then, do some investigation, will you? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Freaking Makaru, dude. She went all out, man. Great chance. I mean, I get her frustration. Since when has Makaru been so emotional? This day is becoming the weirdest of all. It's a story we didn't hear last night. Isn't that it? Makaru knows the story, and we don't know. Oh yeah, she didn't tell us that part yet. Dang it. Does this make us different? Are you saying it's serious enough for Ray-chan to be so mad like that? Oh, God, is she gonna die before she tells us? I'm really starting to get worried. I don't know, we have no way of knowing. But this makes me feel uneasy for some reason. I guess we could just get keep getting like blocked by Monokuma when she tries to tell us, but... I don't know, man. I'm getting a little worried. Getting a little worried. Makaru showed an emotional behavior, telling us to follow her. When I looked at her in the eyes, she seemed to be shaking a little. <laughs> Wait, Raina Makaru, it's time for a memory dance. The only way to sort out your decisions. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, Jeffrey. Let's focus on what we can do now. It's important to stay, to stay positive in mind. Morning, yes, let's hang out with the best boy, the new best boy. He really does look like a Pokemon trainer. I think it's because like the symbols on his hat, they kind of look like a Pokemon ball. Is it just me? Am I, look, it looks like a Pokemon ball. It does. I was like, I don't think I'm crazy, right? It does kind of look like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> it's like, I feel like he's about to challenge me to, to a duel. I got Charizard, so beware. Break, take off wing. <laughs> Is sky loud? Yuki is spreading. Is touching. I mean, I guess so. Oh, want to play? Let's play. Playing. Let's play a, a game. A Pokemon. I have Meowth. I somehow had a conversation with Kizaragi, who is difficult to understand. I think my relationship with Kizaragi has improved a little. Would you like to give him a present? Nah, I don't got nothing for you, bro. Sorry. Yuki was it. Here, this building has obviously had some drastic changes to be this new and shiny. Hey, Kizaragi, I'm sorry to ruin your mood, but I want to ask you a few more questions. Is that okay? Questions? Again, there's always so many. How many times will you keep asking them? I'm sorry, but like, I kind of have to because you're, you know, so sus and stuff. You're kind of a sussy baka. You're like literally the definition of a sussy baka. An idiot who is hella suspicious. There's a diary in the hidden room of the library. Did you by chance write it? There was a diary in the back of the library. It's been a while since we came here. We're safe for the moment, but we can't get out. That's what it said. Do you remember? That note, diary, that, I know, what, I wrote. So you did write it. Kizaragi? I shouldn't be related. And the more I delve into the info, the more my curiosity increases to know the truth. But I can't go back. What the? Oh, dude, can you like please try to explain this a little bit better? What are you trying to say, dude? I know. I now am very lucky. Surprisingly, they survived. Our friends. We were able to do this much. But is, is? Hmm. Dude, do, do, do. Okay. Wait. Like, theory time. Brain blast! I'm trying to think. Just cause like, okay, so... Ha! Ah, I need to look through that old stuff, cause like... I'm still like, not convinced that like... Well... No... Ah, I'm trying to think. I'm like, trying to 
brain blast right now. I was like, was he in a killing game before? That's what, like, the gist of what I'm trying to think of. Is there any proof that he was in our class? I can't remember. Was he in a different class? And they went into, like, a, through a killing game, and that's what the diary was talking about? Because it seemed like he was, a. Uh, you know, they were staying in there, they were trapped, and yada yada yada. He didn't really talk about, like, a, uh, I don't know. He didn't really talk about a death game, but it's kind of making me wonder if maybe that's a possibility. But I keep, like, I don't know. I keep going back to thinking him and, like, Hanzo are the same person somehow, but I don't know if that really makes sense. But, I don't know. I don't think that makes sense, but, like, I don't know. We'll see. I can't, like, I can't really, like... I feel like piece this theory together super well. I think I'll have to re-re- or rewatch some of those, but the gist of it is I'm kind of thinking maybe he was in a killing game at some point too. Surprisingly, they survived our friends, but because that's I don't know, that's just like what's making me think that maybe he was in a killing game at some point. But we'll see. Now I can't tear it down. Not much time left before. I have to do something somehow. Should I suppress it? Curiosity is endless. What to do? I don't know what to do. I will be ruined. That. It is despair. Everything I did was in vain. Take it easy. You don't know. You don't have to. You Take it easy. If you don't know, you don't have to force an answer. I'm only asking. Yuki Maida, you and the rest of them, believing in friends is good. So I'll believe. What is it? But you know, I could not lit. I saw it for a moment. Makako. Oh, it hurts. Oh, yeah. Every time he talks about Makako, he gets like a brain malfunction. Is that trust? That's why I believe deeply in my heart. And why? No, not yet. Kizaragi, why are you so flustered? Just try to calm down. Well, is there something else? However, I must ask you something. Do you all suspect me? It's very difficult to say for the others. Rei suspects Yamato for, from the diary, but from that itself, she suspects him as the mastermind. I didn't hear an answer, but there was a reaction. Yamato, I can't understand you. I'm kind of surprised he could read the vibes in the cafeteria of us suspecting him. <laughs> but I don't think we have much time. I'll say it bluntly. We suspect you as the mastermind. I guess he could be like a robot version based off of like um, the older version. Like the Han I think his name was Hanzo. Hanzo? I think so, right? I'm trying to make sure. <laughs> like he could be like a robot based off of Hanzo who was in a killing game like a bunch of years ago, right? I think maybe that could be a possibility or something. We suspect you as the mastermind. You show up late and we found information about something called the Kizaragi Foundation in the school. I don't want to believe it, Yamato. I don't want to think you're the mastermind. Yamato, just come down and tell me the truth, please. I don't want to believe it because you're my best fucking friend in the whole entire world right after Mitch. Mastermind. Monokuma. Yes, that's Monokuma. It's not me. You should think about it. Yes. Oh, of course. The Mastermind's Monokuma. Duh. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> this is a trap. It's not right. But if I try and give my side, it would be difficult for them to believe me. That's probably that that person said they'd get in the way. I don't know what you're going through, but you're suffering, Kizaragi, so I won't ask anymore. <laughs> Kitsuragi's brain seems really damaged. Has he been like this since he was born? But what about that photo we found? Did a guy like this become the third leader of the Kizaragi Foundation? That's like, I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> Cause there's that picture too that we found of him. I'm so confused on this dude. I have no idea what's going on with him. Monokuma probably put Yamato in here to mess with us. I don't think there is any more, more information I can get from talking with Kizaragi. It would just be a waste of time. Yuki is, is my friend. Ah, thank you. You're like me. You become friends with people immediately. It would have been nice. Yuki is my boyfriend. <laughs> I would have been, it would have been nice if he looked like this much earlier. However, it would have been nice if he was always like this. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Huh? Everyone. I was like, does he have like memories of hanging out with me? Of like me being a dick? <laughs> That's kind of another thing I'm like, ah, <laughs> you're so confusing. He says something, um, it'd be nice if you were always like this. Yeah, you seemed like so angry at me before. He knows something about me, like being evil in the past, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't freaking know. <laughs> everyone, everyone is fine. 
there's still hope. Okay, buddy. Good talk. I have no idea what... I don't understand, like, 90% of what you said, but it was a good time. Yamato stopped talking and went back to his room. <laughs> Yamato, he really is a mysterious guy, but he's not a bad guy or anything. I think he's just like us. Just like us. Brain damage. I feel like Monokuma set it up for some reason. He tries to explain something to me, but it always ends up being nonsensical, yeah. He's definitely, like, trying to explain, like, real stuff, but it's so hard to figure out, like, what is actually, like, the truth, you know? I don't know, it was smart for, like, a story, you know, from a story stance. Even so, it hasn't been long since I met him, but he called me his friend. He's just like me! Somehow it doesn't feel weird. Yamato's voice calling me a friend. The record of Yamato Kizaragi has been updated in the Electronic Student Handbook. <laughs> that was a lot, man. It's so much talking to him, dude. Oh, God. What is up with you, Kizaragi? Afternoon. We're going to hang out again, buddy. Where are you at, homie? My new boyfriend. <laughs> My new best fucking friend. He's just always around here, too. It's like, <laughs> it's like imagine him, like, walking to the walls. He's like, <laughs> like a badly programmed, like, NPC. He's like, walking, <laughs> like, like, it. You, you know there's a wall there. Oh, there's a wall there, Yuki? I did not notice. I'm thinking of sound like a robot. That is crazy. I am a human being. Did you know that, Yuki? <laughs> this is how humans talk. Humans like things. And I also like things. Come on, bro. Can you, can you come here for a second? And I also like things. Yes, because me, human. Do you want to spend some time with Kizaragi? Hell yeah, I do. Oh, want to play? Then I'll be your opponent. Playing. Let's have a battle. I somehow had a, I somehow had a conversation with Kizaragi, who was difficult to understand. He kept walking into plants and trying to eat doorknobs, but you know, I told him like, hey, <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to figure it out, you know? I'm like, hey, you don't eat the doorknobs, you eat the food. Oh, I did not realize that, Yuki. I think my relationship with Kizaragi has improved a little. Would you like to give a present? I don't got nothing for him. He would probably like anything. Well, I guess there's probably something you could give him and then like, uh, you could probably give him something and then like, he would like trigger some bad memory and he would like flip out, you know? Yuki, do you have more questions? But you should know it's impossible for me to answer, no matter how much you ask. Well, he seems self-aware at least. Haha, <laughs> calm down, Yamato. I don't have any questions for you this time. Oh, that's great. I love the sprite. That way you will be pure when you don't know anything. So I will hang out with you, Yuki. Well, you're kind of in a gray area, but I'm sure if you talk to the others, they'll suspect you less. And they'll realize you're a good boy. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Who's a good boy who's such a freaking himbo? <laughs> Doesn't even know how to walk around the school correctly. Yuki, until now, it's like, <laughs> imagine him at like the dinner, he's like eating the plate. <laughs> You're like, um, is he okay? No, no, Kizaragi, you eat the food. You eat the food, not the plate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yuki, until now, you've been thinking about me and my condition, haven't you? That makes me happy. Aw. What, Yamato? So, I really hope you don't change how you are right now. Aw, that tone, you've been acting pretty normal. Ah, finally, this headache is alleviated. I heard there was a game room on the third floor. A casino. We should play for a bit. Come on, Yuki. Uh, Yamato? It was only for a short time, but Yamato talked quite normally. And soon after, he went to behaving strangely again. Was I just imagining things? Hmm, let's see. Interesting. Still, I'm sure Yamato isn't a bad guy. In some nostalgic way, I see him as a friend. I think that Yamato feels the same way. I felt a deep bond. One which shows the close relationship between Yamato and myself. Oh, is that it for his free time events? He gave me his underwear. Although it was difficult to understand what he was saying, it was still fun playing darts with Yamato. I didn't even get to go to his room. No, dang it. Ah, I wanted there to be more. That was so short. Yamato's free time events have been completed. You have acquired Yamato's special ability, permanent organization. Oh, cool. That's cool. Hey, it's getting late. I decided to return to the dormitory. Man. Ah! I'm so confused with him, though. I'm really gonna have to rewatch a bunch of, uh... Whatchamacallit. A bunch of his stuff. Because I'm, like, so... So lost. <laughs> so lost. 
like just a lot of i'm gonna have to rewatch like a bunch of his stuff like him talking and like the information we learned from like the science lab and the office and all that but yeah i was like man i wanted a room trip with him <sighs> that sucks just like <laughs> probably it's just like you open his door and it's just like uh remember like that there's like an episode of Futurama where Bender has like an apartment and it's just like a cubicle, like a locker basically. I imagine that would be a uh, Yamato's room. <laughs> he just goes in, he's like, this is my room, Yuki. I just stand here for eight hours every night. Like, that's kind of what I expect from him. Just like yesterday when it was nighttime, Makaru called us together. You get it now? I said it many times now, but we can't stay long. It will probably be shorter than yesterday. Because Monokuma is starting to notice the existence of this room. More and more each time. Tell us the important thing. No, baby, maybe this will be the last time we're meeting in my room. Yeah, we should keep switching rooms. I feel like that would help. Ah, well, what do we do then in the future? From now on, maybe there's nothing else to talk about anymore. What? It's nothing. If it's a matter of the room, don't worry. I will try to make a new jamming suitable device in its place. Okay, more importantly right now, is this about the second piece of information when Makara was cut off yesterday? Please say it. That's right. That was it that- what was it that Rachel was so worried about? Um... Eh. I felt uncomfortable in that moment. It was like the line of the self-esteem hit the sky limit. I thought Akane was going to say, aren't you worried? I thought she was going to say it out loud, but unexpectedly, Makara just quietly drew her breath. Listen carefully. Oh, shit. I remember... I remember what you found about the Kizaragi Foundation, right? That same building. It's the place we're stuck in right now. The same building? We aren't in Hope's Peak Academy? Oh... No. What? This is not Hope's Peak Academy. Oh, shit! I was wondering, I was like, why do they have pictures of, like, the presidents of the Kizaragi, like, company? Like, that doesn't really make very much sense. But, ah, oh, I see. I see. I was like, especially with the last floor looking, like, so different, you know what I mean? Is there some kind of, like, big, I don't know, like, massacre here? And they, like, cleaned up and, like, redecorated all the, uh, <laughs> all the floors, like, uh, besides the fifth one? Maybe. What? Uh, are you kidding me? This isn't... This isn't Hope Speak Academy? Isn't it the fact that we entered this building? It was Hope Speak Academy originally? Nah, we just got our memories wiped, bro. That's true. Ray-chan said it... Ray-chan said it too. We found a guidebook from Hope Speak Academy. And the structure of the building was the same too. No, at the time I only knew this. But that wasn't it. What in the world do you mean, Makaru? Why do you think that? Eh? What's this? Paper? Hopes Academy brochure found on the fifth floor. This is a structure of the second and fifth floors. What? As Makaru says, it was a brochure that showed the structure of Hopes Peak Academy. It seemed to be the rest of the first floor schematic that Makaru discovered on the first day we were here. As you guys said, the first floor of this building is identical to the one I found earlier. So I had doubts that this was Hopes Peak Academy. But that was my mistake. If you take a good look at the brochure, Hope Speak Academy brochure, just by looking at the first chapter, the structure diagram of the second floor, we were able to understand the meaning of Makari's words. A little sussy, huh? What, the classrooms and the library? And a pool? There is no pool, right? Oh, not only that, there's no power room in this document either. Oh. <laughs> we just like not look through that. <laughs> That's probably nothing. Looking back, Looking back, the anxiety was slowly rising. I looked at the structural the structural diagrams of the third, fourth, and fifth, fifth floors in turn. Now you understand that this place is not Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Yuki, tell him, Ray, because I don't freaking know anything. <laughs> so true. Thanks for the donation, uh, uh, Spanish fly. Un unbelievable. According to Hope's Peak's brochure, the structure is as followed. On the second floor, there are classrooms, a library, and a swimming pool. The swimming pool is equipped with changing rooms and a fitness equipment. On the third floor, there are classrooms, a lounge, an art room, and a physics preparation room. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why do we have a casino in a, in a high school anyways? <laughs> it's like, it kind of makes you think. The lounge is equipped with entertainment such as mini billiards and darts. The fourth floor are classrooms, 
faculty offices, headmaster's office, information processing room, music room, and a chemistry lab. And the fifth floor, there are classrooms, a biology room, a natural farm, and an archery dojo. Yeah, it's like literally the structure of the Hope's Peak and Danganronpa one. There are similar facilities, but most of them are different. I didn't even think about how this uh, didn't look like Hope's Peak Academy and Danganronpa one. It like didn't even like cross my mind at all. I was just like, eh, you know, they're just going for something original, you know what I mean? Or maybe they just feel like doing something different. I don't know. There are similar facilities, but most of them are different. Even if the fifth floor is a completely different facility, then this isn't really Hope's Peak Academy? Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm not sure with only just this alone, because the surveillance cameras were turned into a machine gun. Isn't there a possibility that the mastermind transformed the entire school? But why get rid of the pool? <laughs> like, that seems so random. Of course, this isn't the only thing. Did you really expect I'll be easy on you? The brochure merely gave the final blow to the things that have been questioned. The things left as questions? There were quite a few. Where to begin? Yes, the first question I had when the second floor was first opened. I was with Maida back then. So you'd remember. Roughly been three hours now. Yeah, I'll probably uh, stop after this uh, cutscene. I was gonna stop after the last free time event, but uh, we got this, so I'll go through this. Hopefully, uh, we don't get too close to the death. I don't think. I don't think so, right? I mean, we are getting somewhat close to the video, so maybe we might investigate next stream. Let's see. Um, look at the chat a little bit now. I was like, I would like to save the body announcement for next, uh, for next stream, personally. Just because I kind of like organizing it that way. But we'll see. I don't know, it might just push me into it. <laughs> Who knows at this rate. I was with, uh, you got a good while left in daily life. I'd say about 75 minutes. Uh, okay, okay. Cool. That sounds good then. Because yeah, I was like, it kind of seemed like, uh, this chapter was like a little bit shorter, I feel like, than some of the other ones. But we'll see. I was with Mida back then, so you'd remember. What Matakuma said in the power room. Power room? You mean that Hope's Peak Academy can't get energy from the outside? Correct. Isn't that strange? The Hope's Peak that's located in the middle of Tokyo? Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere, huh? For some reason, cannot receive energy from the outside any longer. Even if we assume that the outside world is a mess due to the worst and most desperate event in human history, wouldn't there be enough safety devices such as a minimum reserve power? But nevertheless, Monokuma said it was impossible. From this point on, I began to feel a little uneasy about this. Also, looking at the library and school's office, there were no books that could be found in normal schools. It's all just papers and dictionaries. Yeah, it is super weird. <laughs> Pretty weird. The only, like, thing we found that, like, could be related to Hope's Peak was, like, the yearbook. But then it was related to, uh, the Kizaragi guy. Kenjo also, men Kenjo also mentioned that when the fourth floor opened and examined the office. Yeah, they were talking about yeah, the library had like really weird, uh, <laughs> really weird books in there for like a school. It was the same when Uihara found Maki's cell phone and it was out of range. It's strange considering the location of Hope's Peak Academy. No way! The biggest question is still the appearance of the fifth floor. There were classrooms up until the fourth floor. But the fifth floor, it's like they just gave up. They're like, yeah, they probably figured it out by now. Let's not, there's no need to decorate it, right? But the fifth floor is billions, a billion of light years away from the school. You've seen it all, haven't you? Crucially, the structure of the fifth floor is very similar to the power room on the second floor. Don't you think it's a right to see that the original fifth floor was renovated for the school? On the contrary, to the school it's, uh, was itself a renovation. On the contrary, to the school was itself was renovated. Then really, this isn't really Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, it definitely does not seem like it. I can't say with 100% certainty, but there is a high probability we were kidnapped from Hope's Peak Academy and mistakenly thought this building, which had a similar appearance, was Hope's Peak. If it's not Hope's Peak Academy, then where are we then? Where do you think we are? The Kizaragi's, uh, you know, company. That makes sense with the weapon room, too. I was like, what the fuck is up? There's like, that explains so much. Why didn't I, like, doubt <laughs> what was going on in Host Pico? I was like, yeah, whatever. Of course, they have, uh, you know, a weapons room with the Kizaragi clan logo on the background. It's like, that makes sense for a high school. <laughs> totally. <laughs> like, I don't know why I didn't think about that at all. Who do you think you are? A mark that we've seen countless times in this building. Until now. And where would you have the technology to renovate a building of this magnitude? You don't mean the Kizaragi Foundation? 
the Kizaragi Foundation. We're a building owned by the Foundation is highly probable. Oh fuck, god dang it, then the mastermind that imprisoned us is a member of the Kizaragi Foundation too? But then, Yamato Kizaragi, that person is the mastermind? Nah, too obvious. I don't know, considering the hypothesis of memory loss, Everything becomes a mess, whether they are the ultimate, whether they are an ultimate student or whatever. Even if you are a god, it becomes impossible to find out the truth. Who freaking knows what's going on anymore? I sure as hell don't. And I'm the girl boss of this group. Besides, the fact that there is no energy supply and there's no signal areas outside, it mean there, means there's a high possibility that it's a place far away from a city. In the middle of freaking nowhere. In the middle of like a desert or something. With the current notion, I have no clue. The more I found out, the more desperate I get. Maybe it's best if we just get out of here. Maybe we can survive. Why are you doing this, Makario? What? Is that the extent of your ability? You said you were confident that you would cooperate, but now you're just trying to give up on this despair? Don't be ridiculous, Maida. I didn't even say a word about giving up. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> it's like, what's going on with her? I'm not sure about that, about being so discouraged. Is already half, halfway of thinking like that. I guess she's just falling into despair too. You were so angry this morning, so I was worried you might be getting pressured. Is this 100% the Makaru who's always shouted at us, hanging her shoulders and dro drooping all over the floor, the real deal? Have you finished talking, huh, Yuki Maida? Slap me in the face. You two, what's wrong? Stop it, why are you trying to fight? The situation is different now, and when I shout it, you're just leaning on me now. And when you get nervous, you pass the responsibility onto me. And now you only see and now you only see me whining. What's wrong? That's wrong. Even though I was surprised by the current facts, I haven't given up, and I have no intention of giving up. I haven't despaired yet. Eh, you despaired a little bit last chapter, but we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that. You're scared to be so angry, aren't you? Uh oh shit, she slapped me! <laughs> I grabbed my tie. <laughs> if you don't know a thing, shut the fuck up, Fida. I'm saying with this saying this with all the more reason because I face the situation. Now, even after hearing the despairing facts, I think that it is a courageous act to say nothing. To say nothing is wrong, but that it but that itself is reckless and stupid, not courageous, you stupid beggar! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Realistically speaking, it is not no different than committing suicide to just bump into each other like a fool. Knowing that there is no more information and there is no more answers to the situation we're facing right now. Or what else? Are you saying that you found out the mastermind and found a trump card to overcome this? Huh? Now, I don't know anything, but I'm also not reckless. I don't mean to give up. Nothing will change if you get discouraged just because you don't have an answer. Before Kizaragi showed up, where did Makaru go? You can't catch the mastermind with such despair in you. After this far, did you hear what I said up until now? There are two things I found out after putting together all the information I found up to this moment. I do feel bad for Rei. I feel like, you know, it's like we all have to like lean on her so hard. And like, I feel like, you know, the pressure is kind of getting to her and like all the information she discovered has been like, uh, so like despairing, you know what I mean? Uh, it is sad, I do feel bad for her. I can understand why she's having a hard time. After putting together all the information I found up to this moment, in other words, putting all the clues together, all we found is that we may be amnesiac and that this isn't Hope Speak Academy. This is it, it's all fucking over. There are no more clues all up to the fifth floor, which is the last floor and it's already been opened. And in order for the locked ones to be unlocked, someone has to go and clear a class trial. You want to do that again, Yuki? Huh? Huh? But since I promised to get out of here with you guys, no more more no more murders should happen. Or what? Do you want a murder to happen? Shit. Shit, dude. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I just... The only hope, Makako Kurokawa, doesn't tell us anything. Aren't you angry when you guys say, let's work together, when you have to figure it out even if we need to rush through? If you want to say something to me, do it after you figure out something to fix the situation. Yourself, don't speak nonsense in your mouth without knowing anything, you stupid fool. Sherry! <laughs> Dude! 
What? You guys are fighting now? No, I missed it. Wait, wait. Let me grab a margarita. I'll come back. Monokuma. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. It keeps sounding like, she, uh, <laughs> like she's slapping me. Great. He had to come anyways. I don't have anything more to say now, so you all get out. Don't even come into my room anymore. Please, Ray, lock the door. I am begging. I am begging you to lock your freaking door, dude. Ray Chan. Oh, God. Hey. Sorry if this is a bad moment. The surveillance camera, I mean. It doesn't seem like it's a malfunction. Ah, oh, shit. What the hell do I care, you fucking bear shit? Get out of my room. Oh, my God. I love Ray losing it like this, dude. I love her just popping off. Yes, queen, tell him. Fucking tell him. Oh, dude, it is me and Ray breaking up then. Damn it. All my, all my boyfriends and all my girlfriends are breaking up with me. Oh, it's scary. I'm not going to execute you or punish you. I'll just leave. I'll just leave. I'm scared now. Makaru, I'll just say this. Hope is not to find it. But to create it, remember Satsuki, your best girl, you best girl, your best girl, that's what she said. Don't forget. <sighs> oh, man. I love Ray. I'm so scared, though. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, my God, Makako. <laughs> Ray spitting facts while I spit blood. Too true, queen. Too true. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. Oh, man. Makaru kicked us all out and locked her door. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for locking your door. Oh, thank God. Looking at her attitude, I think she's going to distance herself from us again from tomorrow. We won't be able to enter Makari's room anymore. Oh, man, that was intense, dude. Did we say something wrong? I fully understand Makari's words and feelings. As Makari said, even if we summarize all the information we have obtained, have obtained since then, the conclusions come out. Of course, those two conclusions are neither a clue to escape nor a clue to the mastermind. Rather, it was a fact that made us more confused in our minds. But is, that, is it fine to just be angry and discouraged by that? Of course, Makaru is also a human. I understand that she could get angry or nervous, but yeah, she's been bottling it all up, you know? So I kind of understand why she's like exploding at this point. And she's been having to like carry us so hard. I get it. I get it, girl. It's okay. I forgive you. I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. Damn it. My hope speech didn't work. It's nighttime, so let's go to sleep. I think uh, I'll think much better afterwards. Uh -huh, girl boss, queen, pop off. Pop off, queen. <laughs> we stand. Oh, man. I love Ray. I am worried for her, though. Homegirl's been showing a lot of death flags recently, and I am not a fan of that. Not a fan of, at all of that. Oh, man. That was so good, though. This has been really uh, good so far. Are you going to watch... Ah, oh, crap, the Chapter 3 secret event. Uh, I might save that for next time, just because I've been streaming for a long time. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'll save it uh, next time for sure. I will have it open. I'll have it saved on my computer, so I remember to click on it. We'll do that. We'll probably do, like, a free time event or something, too, because I feel like that one might not be as long of a stream. I feel like it's gonna be like a two hour stream, like of just like the chapter content. And then I could probably do like a free time event or something. No, wait, stop it. Magalore, slay, don't tell her to slay. Don't tell her to slay. <laughs> no, no more slaying. Don't slay. Don't slay Ray. Don't, don't slay. Okay, come on. We need to tell her not to do that. But um, yeah, I didn't realize that. Uh, <laughs> I put Kenjo in the thumbnail, but it didn't show up the whole uh, the whole chapter. I saw people saying it was clickbait in the chat. <laughs> I'll try to come up with a new a new thumbnail. I just I wanted my boy Kenjo to be in the thumbnail, you know, at least one more time before he, you know, eventually dies. I don't know. I like I was really sure that he was gonna die this chapter until I started playing this, but now I'm more focused on Ray dying or more convinced that she's gonna die. I don't know. I feel like so many people are throwing up, like, uh, death flags, you know? Like, Ray, we have Akinjo, Makako, mostly those three have been really, really throwing up death flags, like, hardcore. This is the first time I don't think Akane is gonna die. Oh yeah, of course Yamato, too. Like, he definitely seems like he's gonna die. I was thinking about putting Yamato in the thumbnail, but I didn't know if that would be, like, a spoiler, you know, to put him in the thumbnail. So, I wasn't totally sure if that would work out. 
but I don't know. Sometimes people can be pretty sensitive about spoilers. But yeah, um, anyways, this was a... Uh, <laughs> this was a fun stream. We learned a lot. We got confused a lot. We got to hang out with the new best boy, Yamato. We got to talk to him a lot. Don't know what he said, like 90% of the time. But it was a good time. It was a good time. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks guys for coming to the stream. Hopefully I'll have a new video up sometime this week. And um, yeah, I'll see you one, I will see you guys next week. Uh, same time, next Sunday, 2 p.m. Central Time. And yeah, I will put a link to the subreddit in the description too if you guys want to hang out on there. But yeah, thanks guys. Bye!